I don't know Bujubanti's family, bro. I know him. Ah, um, Moyeri, yeah, man. Yeah, bro. We don't know him. Bro, all we have is the Mali family with substance. There's Mali family, there's Kuti family. They need to make an album. With influence. Shewu Kuti and Demi Mali have a record. Yeah, have. I mean, this idiot spitting out of his arse. A R S E. Right? Say, uh, Recently. As a British Irish right? man. This now. Talk no way, I won't use that. It seems more disrespectful Jeez. when you say that. Only, only perceptibly moneyed. Perceptibly, bro. Perceptibly I see. Perceptibly moneyed. Bro, I love him. <laughs> I love you him. Know, you know Ezra now? No. Co founder of Paystack. Oh, yeah. Is he your guy? No. I uh. don't know him. He's too perceptibly moneyed. No, me. no, no. Perceptively. Perceptibly. Oh, tibly. Mm. Not tibly. Oh. I thought we were only, talking only, about only guys that... My friends... Oh, he was talking about his friends. That people say that his friends have... He keeps people that are not perceptibly moneyed around him. So that he can feel big. Oh. He was saying that. that pe- a lot of people... Have, he was addressing rumors. It's, you know, the other song. Don't carry false rumors around the place speak your mind welcome to another episode of the zero conditions podcast as you can see melody is late without melody she's doing she's doing pretty girl things see, behind the camera wearing otter shoes why who wears silver shoes bra me and I, why are you wearing a brand that's not paying us can i are wearing a brand that's not paying us They are not paying us. I don't care. Bro. But why? <laughs> that, that's not even my bone of this. They are thing. not paying us. Manoli, is this scared? Yeah. <laughs> my problem is yeah. these people are not paying us. Irasa won't approve. Wow. <laughs> wow. I, I, I love the fact that every time someone sees someone wearing like extremely short skirts, like they make reference to Irasa. Like it's branding, right? Fantastic yeah, branding. yeah, yeah. They killed Amazing it. Amazing branding. Arasta, Wait, hold on. Arasta is basically. I miss you so much. What is on you? Oh, please. Oh, kill. I miss you so much. I don't let you see me. You like to show emotion. Arasta. <laughs> is, is, it, is it me or is Arasta very reflective of early 2000s Beyonce now? Beyonce, early 2000s, is Rihanna or okay? No, I think it's early 2000s. What I, what I, why, how? I actually think it's early 2000s, Beyonce. It's Rihanna. Go watch, get, research, Google early 2000s Beyonce fashion and watch I, her I star. see why, why you say that, but not necessarily because early 2000s Beyonce, she used to... Like the things that Arasta wears, but especially in the Arasta. last... Five months. But it's more Rihanna, Sha. Bro, it is actually, actually more no, Rihanna. No, I think the earlier so days. I, bro, I think the earlier the, days were the, more Rihanna. The, I even think is. I genuinely think it's um it's intentional, right? And I think it seems a, to I be think the same Rihanna pattern style. they all want to go through, including Tyler. By the way, right? It is early Rihanna. I to check early. Actually, no, I don't think it's early Rihanna was. Rih- so R- Rihanna, early Rihanna was, was short skirt. Not really. People. Not really. Ma? So early Rihanna was actually. Pop star teenage sensation. Actually, 2000. Good girl yes. gone bad was when Rihanna went insane. 2000 Beyonce is not. Arasta it's not. Let me show you. It's Long not. Jeans, trouser wearing. It's Beyonce. not. Trust. That's not Arasta in any way. It's Rihanna like, it's that's been close, that. Actually. It's, it's just the uh, um, what's it? The marketing strategy for the conversion from. Maybe Destiny's Child, but Beyonce. Beyonce Arasta in the last three months has been. Very early 2000s Beyonce. Nope. I very, agree. very. Like, I even, I even, I even, I, I think <laughs> someone even, someone even drew the inferences, like broke down, like, Arasta won some, some jean outfits. It was, the person broke it down in a very interesting way. But I don't way. see it. Like, I'm literally checking. Yeah, but you are it. checking, you are checking red carpets. No, Those I'm checking, red no, shows. not red carpets. I'm checking like random Beyonce moments, like really, not even red carpets. I'm just checking random. I don't see it. Because Beyonce, she has even, she's not even, Arasta is almost like, Beyonce's fashion is still a bit conservative, just a bit. Beyonce's yes. early 2000s fashion, G- watch the video for Crazy in Love. I see that the one. The costume that's not in early Crazy 2000s. in Love. That's early, tu- what? Early 2000. That's 2003. Crazy was Crazy in Love yeah. not with Jay-Z? 2003? Yeah, no, that's, yeah, Crazy Love was with Jay-Z as well. That's 03. 
crazy in love. Oh, video. that one. Oh, no, 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 no. The, the, um, yes, 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 the yes. Video. That she was crawling yeah. up and down on one concrete yeah. slab. Yes. Baby boy Rihanna, Beyonce was is what I asked her with now. Yeah. Baby okay. boy. Baby. I see. Um, I see what you're saying. I asked Beyonce on. The, 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 the song that's called Such Produce. What's that song? That song again? The one with Shakira. No, no, the one that Usher was a video vixen in it. I hate that shit, by the way. I don't remember. Do you blame okay, that, the, I, I know it's what you're talking I about. I see what uh, you're saying. No, the Beyonce crazy in love. No. The part where Beyonce wore a white top. Tank top and, yes, bomb and, and bomb shorts. And bomb shorts. And then. Beyonce doesn't wear the, tank tops. I rest out. So, the, the fashion of that time was tank tops. Now, Arasta will wear something that suits this time. Does that make sense? Yes, like, it does. it's inspired by the aesthetics, not the I exact hear, same fashion I hear what you're fashion saying. access. But the point I'm trying to make is that Beyonce's no, but then, fashion is still a bit conservative as compared wait, to Wait, so, but then that makes. Wait, hold on. Um, um, Motolani, that yeah. makes short skirts just. The Brother, same. as a teenage boy, what are you saying? Have you seen the video for Baby Boy? I just. Checked Brother, it. as a teenage boy, I had erections that were not healable. I'm watching the video for Maybe baby boy. boy. Ah! I'm watching that now. Mmm, I see it. Bro, I don't know what you speak of. My, oh, I'm of course you know. Now. I'm checking Even now. Even the video for beautiful liar self guys, it's not bad. Mm. From the video. Yeah. Um, free come dress Beyonce. I agree. Beyonce baby boy is actually. I hear. I, I see it. But the image is more. I, I think it's more. But the Rihanna. general her general aesthetic is Rihanna. Is Rihanna? I actually don't think it's absolutely. I, I don't Rihanna. think. Ira, I think maybe later she, Rihanna is a lot farther left than whatever Ira is. How? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, have you forgotten what Rihanna was? Actually, Rih Rihanna was two thousand eight. No, no, so you're referring to extremes. Wait, now you're referring to the extreme. You're referring moves. to extreme. Actually, you're picking just the, simple. The regular Rihanna is yeah. is literally Ira star. <sighs> Maybe not literally. I don't well, think it's a literal, literal thing. Yes. Literally. So literally. I think Ira is a huge Rihanna fan. Right? Yeah. Ira is a huge Rihanna. Not that I think, it's a fact. I don't know. Ira, no, we she's can't a say huge, categorically. I don't no, know. I can say categorically. How? Because I won't be hype. I won't be hype. Because when she when she was initially launched, I think that video is not down from her Instagram. Mm -hmm. When she was launched initially, she was she did she, she even paid homage, homage. To Rihanna. Rihanna. In so there was a video when there's a there was a post where she got Africa now, if I'm not mistaken, or up next on Apple Music, right? And then she did like a, it was a carousel post, and then the photo right after that was she was literally posting, she was talking about being a member of the Navy. Literally. In oh, she said that. Yes. Oh, okay, cool. Then. Literally. I didn't, I've, I've never seen that. Before. Literally. On, on, I, I, I but don't I, I, think that, I know that she that loves picture. Rihanna, bro. She's a, she's a Rihanna. I can't say huge fan. Right. From if, ex, I don't know if, the, I, from what I have seen, I think, so when I saw the video of her with, in, um, with Rihanna. the coin in Barbados, I wasn't very, very surprised, you know. And I, I, I really love how. Perceptibly moneyed. Post. <laughs> I really love how welcoming, like, Rihanna has been of the entire, like, Ira star. And even speaking of like younger women, I think that that is something that a lot of artists should do more when you get to like a certain level, as opposed to like welcome the young ones coming after <laughs> Are you. you sobbing somewhere there, I know. As opposed to wanting to shut the door. I feel like that is something that would help your legacy more as an artist when you get to a certain level. Instead of trying to, because as an older artist that has been in the game for years, you cannot out short the Did new girls. You usually cannot out short the new girls. <laughs> You can't. I you can't. Heard. I think that's I just heard this out shot skirt. Out shot skirt. You can't out Bro, brand the new now girls. Now shot skirt, now you carry us rich here. Do you understand? <laughs> so I, I feel like more. That is if for artists, because sometimes artists are Don't stuck. Artists are stuck between not knowing how to move from regular artists to that legendary status. It's like, so what do I do next? What do I do? do you, I feel like do that think, is one way. Do you think Nicki Minaj suffers from that? I just feel like that is one way to Suffers. get to that level as an artist. It's just to sit in your Transition queen in. status, on your king status, and you don't know how to. Who does? Let me tell you one of the reasons. One, let me tell you one of the reasons why. Because I'll half the kids. time, no, That's half the time, especially line. for pop artists, pop female artists, half the time when you want to sell these artists, most times it's usually sex appeal. Half the time, mm -hmm. right? I don't think you should put it that way. I think you should put it as 
for a female pop star to sell, there has to be a sex appeal angle. That's there has to be. Yeah, there has no, to be. No, then no. I disagree. There has, I said I pop star. I said pop star. Um, the biggest, arguably the biggest female pop star is not... A sex symbol. Um, Who is the person? Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is not sex yeah, symbol. Yeah, I agree. Taylor Swift is an anomaly. Yes. But standing right at the top. Let me tell you why Taylor Swift is an anomaly. Why? I agree so. Taylor Swift Normal. came into the game as a country artist. Okay. Mm, that's not and all. Yeah, that's she like did a... come. She, her first three albums, Speak Now, Fearless, and the other one, they were actually full weight country albums. Now, you can say a lot. She's been having these problems for years that the country audience always felt like her country music was quote and unquote watered down. But the music was still country. The hates were country. Um, I think around the album that had I knew you were trouble when you walked yeah. in was where the sound started shifting trouble. a little bit, right? And then the album after that, which was 1989, was a pop album. That was like a fifth album. Okay. That was the first genuine pop album. That point she made. will be po- the point being that you can't compare her to someone that was pop from the start. Taylor Swift's parents moved to Nashville. Because she wanted to make country music. Do you know how deep that is? Like Nashville, Tennessee, the home of country music. Her parents moved there. Seems like perceptively rich moves. No, her father is her father is not, <laughs> not poor. Her father is not poor. <laughs> Do you understand? Like they did so I don't think you can you can compare her to someone like even like Rihanna, for example. So basically she didn't start as a pop star. She didn't star, start so as a pop star, sex. she was a country star. She didn't need to sell sex. She didn't need to sell sex. But even if she started as a pop star and she's like not selling, she's not like a sex symbol now. I think that because she's a white slim girl. I th- I also think that we can't even use her mm. as the yardstick because generally across board, it's a requirement for more women than it is not for other women. Pop stars. Pop stars. It's even the, the people moved away from pop stars, even for hip hop artists. More Melody, hip, they are still more pop stars. Female hip hop. They are still pop stars. Yeah, pop stars like any pop sound stars. that is popping anyway. Do you know this rapper called um, what's the name of that babe that signed to Rock Nation? Um, Big and Stallion. No, <laughs> no. Uh, uh, Rhapsody. Okay, Rhapsody. Rhapsody. And but she didn't sell sex now. Is Rhaps- Rhapsody a pop star? Is Rhapsody a pop star? No. Is Lato no, a pop star? Not. Yes. yes. Exactly. <laughs> no, I mean, Lato. I don't know if Lato is a pop star. Lato, or is, Lato a is a pop star. Lato is a pop song. Bro, B, okay. You know what? Lato's biggest song is a pop song. Which is? Uh, what is Lato, that song again? I can't remember the title. But it's a song that is going to play on rhythmic radio. It's a pop I mean, song. yeah, you're right. Yeah. Pop is popular music. Yeah, pop yeah popular it's pop is just, yeah, anything that is pop. Yeah, yeah anything that is pop. But, so I, but I think Taylor Swift is a genuine game changer. I don't think she gets her flowers enough. For who sh- I think she's she the gets enough of the changer. flowers. I beg. I, I hear you on any other flower. Any other flower? She doesn't get this flower. I hear you on that. this point. But she but she do you think? Many of do you think she oh, has? Do you yeah. think she has limitations because she's white and slim? Wait. Is she when the I first say, white female no, 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 artist? No, 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 no. Or no. first G- white give me a second. artist? Give me a second. So right now in the world, I don't know how to say this, but there's a requirement for source. Sauce. What do you mean by sauce? S-A-U-C. I know, like sauce. what do you mean? Like? Taylor Swift is not going to turn your head in a music video. It's not going to what? Turn your head in a music video. Turn my head? Yeah, depending on how I'm watching music video. You understand? Yeah. Like, she's not going to turn your head in a music video. And right now, there's a lot more... Sauce is a euphemism, by the way. It's a euphemism for sex appeal and... Ah, what do you mean she's not going to turn your head in the music video? She's not going to turn your head. She's, yeah, she's not going to turn your head. Hmm. No, that's a good point. Men, no. no, that's a no. good point. That's excuse a good point. me, sir. Excuse she's not going to turn your head. That's a good point. No, no. That's a fair. Eh? No, 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 no. Wait, hold on, hold on. That's a good point. Even down to the she's the definition. She's the definition. Of concerts and her shows is mostly female. What are we she's it, no, she's yeah, it, but she will still turn some men's head. She's the definition of obviously yes now. She's She's a definition of beauty to a white man, a white conservative man. And some black men, I dare say. Mm, like I don't, I don't know. 
No, some like, black men like some that. Black, are you for real? Like, but it's like it's like the zero point zero zero two percent. But there is still a percentage. So I, yes. I, I don't feel no, like we can definitely. make general statement like, oh, she's not going. But she's going to force some men. She's, she can say she, that she, she is. can't for me, and that's it. She is. She mm. is. She won't tell my age. After. That's yeah, actually. Yeah. My she's head won't even be watching actually, the music video. She's actually the first, my head won't be watching the music video in no, the first place. She's actually very because. she's very, very beautiful. She's what? She's very, very beautiful. She's very, very beautiful. She's a beautiful woman. Yeah. I, I'm not going to speak to a physical um, one's physical appearance. Anyway, did you I'm guys sorry. see the conversation about fraud on social media? And, ah, thank you. Um, uh -uh. How uh -uh. you have been joining us in the spirit <laughs> and the conversation that happened. So basically, you know, sometimes when we have conversations around fraud, there are two layers. We have conversation around fraud when it comes to the music industry and how it has seemingly pushed or made helped the music industry. Mm -hmm. Now there's also the conversation yeah, of it's the, inflation. There's also the conversation around fraud now and economy. So someone said that fraud messed it, up you want everything. To go first. From cost of living to even expectation. Many times I've been called a Yahoo boy because I can afford certain things. So the expectation is if you can do it, you be G-man. Now, um, someone responded saying fraud has absolutely nothing to do with the cost of living. Quincy, do you want to go first? You seem to have a lot okay. on your chest. No, 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 no. So should I mean, we start always with have... fraud from music? Quincy wanted no, to... No, no, no. I'm saying should we start with fraud from in music space? No, let's start from the general perspective and fraud. move into music. Because after that, I'm going to conversation of, of fraud and IOMAF. The artist. Yeah. And then, based on the content angles of that, I'm going to go into Buju Bantu. Let's go. Yeah. That's, that's why I came to this show. By Transition. Well, okay. Synergy. So... No, sorry. Sex. As at as at point of this reading, mm -hmm. my opinion might have been diluted just a little bit. By shivers. No, 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 not by shivers. By sorry, this I didn't know. This, this is your last Wait cup. first. This is your last cup. This nonsense that melody is always this doing. This is your last Say, cup. Make a no drink. Oga, if I come your podcast sponsored by shivers, I must drink. No, don't drink. What too are you much. discussing no, here? Don't drink. See, Quincy should stop. They sent it to me, like 20 people. Quincy, find me person with design this thing, I beg. With design. Oh, no, yeah. Um, ah, yeah, I will find out for you. Either way, so, yeah. I'm going to say this. That fraud. is daft. Which part of it? <laughs> the, the, the talk about fraud being the responsible um, for the point economy. For, uh, responsible for economy cost of level living of inflation. Okay. Mm -hmm. in the country. Okay. I don't know if you understand what economics is. Yeah, I don't think people do. It, this is not... It's, economics is not guided by... Um, your feelings. Perception. <laughs> or waiting the album for your road. <laughs> economics is not guided by waiting the album for the road for your state. It's states. not even determined by your money and your earnings. Bruv, no. it is that deep. Yeah. Economics is you are, far... Wait. Um... Wait first, now. Shabina used to make a talk first. Yeah, sorry. sorry. Last job. Sorry. Sorry. I'm essentially saying. More for any dips. No, no, no. Oh, there were no. Oh, there were no. You know, Migos. You know, they does not have a female artist. Um. So essentially, yeah. Economics does not discuss with things like this, bro. It's nonsense. You're telling me that the reason that this is this. People's perception will always be people's perception. Facts. Do you understand what I mean? So, oh, I'm trying to rent a house. They say this, this. I've had to go sit down with a landlord and discuss how I am a corporate guy. I, I work in yourself. a corporate job yeah. and speak good English and all of that stuff. To you speak with myself. Accent? After. Eh? You speak with your accent. I will not use that accent. I will not use that accent. I die. Quincy. I die. I should not use that accent. Like, to Hello. speak to landlord. Quincy. Landlord. Hello, sir. <laughs> I I don't I mix Shokoje. Queens. I Okojebi bastard. <laughs> Bro, this is even how much Okoje. Okoje to, I hope he doesn't work. Okoje. 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 <laughs> nah, that, that sounds where, sexual. Okoje. No, it's not. Pause, nigga. Okoje. Uh, to the point where he it's talks. not sexual in any way. Don't mind him. Don't mind him. Don't mind him. Okoje to the point ah, where. Don't say that where again. Are you honey? I, yes, think I, that's, I think that's. I think Flex, that's. Because the problem. I think how that's can Okoje be making you turn on? Honey, Oko Okoje. No, you're honey. <laughs> so like, oh, it's double. Leave that. It's not about this person saying. Actually, wait. You so can say things like that. Ah, uh -uh. this is no. But there's level two and three of 
My brother, anything we say. Melody rubbish. just got in and say F word, F word, F word. But I'm not very sure. But yeah, continue what you're trying to say, so. Did you know what I'm trying to say, right? Yeah, like fucking get with it, right? Oh my god. Okay, so. Point is, that's absolute bull crap. Okay. And as I always tell Motolani, I think I, t- I, I told her for years before I met Yusuf. You, Twitter. you no. need to get off Twitter. Twitter is the reason that Melody is bringing this nonsense <laughs> talk on this show. Because but Twitter is a macro. Now, when I get the show, life. I understand and I respect that fact, right? But at the same time, it's jargon stock. I, I say you. fraud money. Do you know how minute, if you combine all the fraud money we're talking about, hmm. it's not close to... Bro, I'm not playing, no. If you combine all the fraud money, it's not close to what one politician has stolen. I you the wine Jesus. Bro, don't play. Maybe, I, so, maybe, not, maybe not one, maybe like three politicians because so of I mean, fraud money. Okay, no problem. Three politicians. Okay, hush puppy type level, this right? This is really the okay, Python so, is swallowing money. Huh? <laughs> I think they said that they said is What they said they said bandits to gangsters. No, yes, now. not bandits. What is and, and bad governors protesters. No, no, Stole no, 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 Ganduje's oh, file. Yes. And SAS protesters. Yes. Which fucking bandits? They went bandits? there not to fix governors. I thought I, thought I read but bandits. But to seal document. The that is only for Gandhi. That's only him. The only one. They say, show me Gandhi's document only. How did we know which one is Gandhi's <laughs> you know, document? Now. You, know, they, you know that Drake song <laughs> on Top Take Care? We say, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of my job. <laughs> I swear to God, I am. And do you know, do you know what I find very like, I am, I am, I am so in awe <laughs> of how stupid they think we are. I was about to say that. I feel like whenever they say these things, they're like, we, you guys are so dumb Bro. that you literally I mean, oh, they, like, they are, they, they, wait too. And it also too. shows the level wait. of their intelligence. Guys, guys, no. no I'm not go- they go carry our three. <laughs> because there's also a new bill. I've, I don't, I'm not we'll certain if it has been passed. Wait, I'm we'll not going to. I'm just trying to tell you. There's a bill about going to jail if you insult politicians or paying a certain amount of fine. I, that topic sits right after Butchu Bro, so. I'm not part of convict music. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't mind me, please. But I, I think that on this question we're having, Tolani, right? Yeah. I think that what the person was trying to speak on was profiling. You think so? Yes. It was, yes, was trying to speak it's about on, profiling. Because when you're saying that fraud has, lab- has given us a bad name, or has affected the way we live. You can say that in the context of profiling, which is that a regular boy making money and making like, for example, for people that work from home, remote workers, mm-hmm. people always be thinking you're in your house, maybe- Even your parents. Pressing laptop, like kill on shit, kill on shit. All of that profiling Have comes- Have you gotten your accusations? <laughs> All of that profiling comes no, with- No, she won't, no. You know, working in the house or just looking the type of way, like when men go out with their dreadlock and things like that, or you're wearing like, it's like based wearing short skirt, like a little show. How many times they call you a show? Based on skirt. She doesn't go out. So. I don't even like every from the from the very first day that I started dressing up as a young girl, people have been calling me a little show. It doesn't even count. The, it, I don't even bother. Like it's, even it's more profile. When I used to go to the office every day, like people at office look at me like, you are naked." I'm like, "You think I'm naked? I'm not naked. I'm showing you more work. You just just think it's nakedness." So, Come on, baby. My God. Don't, don't you come in naked in the office so that you. No. Tolani, what, you well, Tolani must go enter your mouth wait, because wait, you are wait, pushing. Wait, your agenda is going wait, to wait, go to wait, 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 Your agenda is going to Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Not melody me? thinking. No, no. Motolani, like wait now. I'm used to it. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> wait now. Wait, wait. Not her thinking that I will deny it. You are currently naked. Exactly. So, what are you You are currently naked. Almost, Chris is so Jersey language. Not. Not her. No, Momo. Bro, it, it's taking a lot of adjusting. <laughs> but I must adjust. To you know what I mean? Hey, bro. Mama, no go die. You're like, Let's do my daru go. Wait, wait. But, but, I, but yeah. I genuinely think that the fraud convert. I feel like we also put so much emphasis on, like, we put too much power on fraud. In Nigeria, as a result of, I don't think we push over. I think it's no, 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 no. Is it's that it's a rampant? Reality, but it's, I know it's is that, that rampant. But now we're not transferring it to economy. Getting. Can I have? Can I? Can yes, I, you can. can yes, you can. Please go say. On. So, first things first. Fraud has definitely inspired a lot. Profiling is a big part. Profiling. Big um, problem. It's a big. It's a big problem. Um, and it's so sad because I don't want to. I don't want to contribute to this. So, melody. 
please listen to this part. I don't yeah. want to contribute to this profiling conversations. Mm-hmm. But if I see an average old boy, I'm going to know. No. That's profiling. That for me. Let me tell you. Wait, I, wait, can wait. Tell. I can tell. I, mean, I can tell. I can tell. Give me, Based on give exposure. Me, I, exactly. Okay, guys. Give no. me two characters. I'm not profiling. No, I don't know. Melody, I can't tell you. I'm not going to Melody, say that. I can't tell you. But when I see, I will know. Bro, they're d- Melody, okay, wait, I went now. to the University of Adoikiti, UNAD. Now extra. You get to State University. I've been knowing things. No, Do I, I don't I don't think that. No, no, no. Wait, I don't wait, think wait. you guys are in the fraud conversation, no, no, by the no. way. No, no, no. Melody. Yeah, I no, know. they're not, they're not, they're not. They're I know. Not. Do you understand? Like when I see, I I just But well, you can't tell me. So it's based on perception. I I can't tell you what it is. But when you see them, so but when I, I see give you, I, I just know. Melody, talk to your guy. Okay, so tell me. I can give you. Tell I can me give two you. Characteristics of a yahoo not two. That's not how it's going to work. Okay. Okay. This tell is me. it. So there are different. There are different Wait. types. Okay. Different types. Right. Yeah. So there's. Corporate. Yahoo. I just touch. That's, that's very. I just this hit. is very important. There's. I just hit money. Right. They're very loud. That's exactly. The money they probably hit is yeah. very little. Yeah. Right? They are very loud. Yeah, listen. Yeah, listen. You need to listen to this. I like where it's going. Mm-hmm. About. In the expense, in the bravado, the music is very loud. Palm slipper. They're yep. trying to wear Dunlop slippers into a place where you're supposed to dress nice, always, mm-hmm. right? And they're wearing big, go, big jewelry. Very big jewelry, right? They probably mm-hmm. hit like twenty m. Right? <laughs> Wait now, you didn't want me. They probably hit like twenty m. It's they're trying to get in the club it's to spend one m. Waste Wait now, it's very melody. Small. Listen, 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 listen. It's real life. Do you know what I mean? A lot of the boys on TikTok that are gifting that people are calling Ash Dollar and Ash Wire is not 50 million. Yep. It's what? You, they wind Jesus. It's millions in dollars. Bruv. Millions in dollars. Yep. No, that's the real guys. The real G's are making Then millions. they are the ones, right, that we tell you they are real estate guys. <laughs> that are trying to package. Wait first. Yes, okay? no. Please, kindly be uh-uh. a, their, No, wait. Their melody... Space, space. Hope your PC will miss you well. Can you... <laughs> this, Bro. you know, this, this, I'm sorry. Melody, just Can get you refer to me? Melody just had, out of this wait, scenario. wait, Melody just had flashback of like four friends <laughs> no. that are real estate people. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. That email gives her trauma. Which now, trauma response. Can you be here? Or which one? No, no. <laughs> Hope this email miss you well. The baby that, always talks that, to that, him. The email no meet her well. That is what I'm about to respond to because... The, the the it just reminded me of the book that I just finished reading. It's called I Do Not Come to You by Chance. The guy is a Yahoo boy, and every time he starts his email, he will start with hope I hope um I did not I hope this email did not miss you by chance or something like that. So it just actually reminded me of the fact that there's a tagline for Yahoo boys when they start their email. No, it's a tagline bro, yeah. for corporate generally. Yahoo boys job just happened today. Baba, huh. bro, it's it's um so they come in, bro. Is the different. next level? Okay, so there's that person. Mm-hmm. Then there's the main boys mm. that the real estate boys. That do real estate business. No, mm-hmm. that real estate boys market to. They're buying houses. So they will tell you they're real estate. No, but you see, they're real estate via purchase. Yep. Right? Houses day. They are the ones because they need that to clear the money. Dollars in tens of M's. They just purchase and purchase things. Houses, right? Yes. yes. Like, they, they buy houses, they, they buy to land, clean the money. they buy all of these they need things. To clean the money. Back they need to, to back. It's clean. Bro, oh. the money is going to go. They are even the ones that are very open to investments. Yep. Right? You come now, bro. It, it, the moment you say, oh, well, I want to open car wash, they say, bring them, fund you. How is car wash a golden? Business idea. It is. It you is. Know why? Wait first. for cleaning money. You get where the name of the talk for now. For cleaning money, it's, it's very not good. one of you go. You know why? Business melody. idea. It's a day money. Car wash that has barely that fifteen sense? cars a month. They say it's making two hundred million naira. But it's you can sell it because it's a day money. That's why. So in I, I listened to a podcast like five years ago. About how the Colombian cartels move money. Cleaning, of, I totally understand yeah. it. I've done my research yeah. just to Do understand. Your just for yeah. what? No, no, for, to understand. See, to understand. Trust walk me. into swear. If I'm the walking boy. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, nice one. I'm nice just, just asking. Take five. For what now? If you're the walking boy. No. Okay. None of that. 
Never ever. He just is a cultural man, curating. Bro, I, I just like acquisition of knowledge. Knowledge, that that's build, fair. That, that still so that you are not ignorant human human psychology, psychology. Yeah. That's right? Fair. So essentially, is fast and it's basically cash flow driven business. Yeah, it is. That's how you learn the money. Yeah. Mm. Right? Facts. Other than in Nigeria where it's just stupidity. Facts. Nigeria is just poor. Anyhow. Proper money laundering. Right. Organized. You need to organize money laundering. It's fast cash moving business. Yep. So you need a business that you that do every day. That is making a day money. They move. Maybe like yeah. you're selling cash. food. So cash, it cash, allows cash, you to cash. inflate whatever is coming in. So that you can register and claim a lot money. of the a lot of hmm. the eh, she is you know invite me now. They made they invite, not consultancy, I'm open. Consultancy, ah no, why not? Um what do they call it? Some clubs. You're popping bottles, you're doing rose. The club that night yep. itself yep. probably gave out half of those top drinks yep. for free. Yep. You don't know anything. But still no, money. Free. Like you don't know anything. The club is giving done. free drinks. Uh, so clubs are also a very good way to clean Baba, money. It's one of the it's best body. ways to, to clean, clean money. money to them. Because if you a bottle of Casamigos costs like 130k retail price, you are selling it at 500, 600k, right? So if you want to clean plus. money, right? If you want to clean money, you can say you sold. If you sold three in the night, you can sell, you can say you sold ten. Who's going to investigate you? Mad. That's Casamigos, not so, Azul. Okay, so basically, so you guys do not agree that this fraud conversation has impacted like the economy, definitely not. No, no. But now talk no. about it in the context of music. Let's go to that so, music conversation. So no, no. Let me the first part, which is going to take the music part is going to take us to Ayama. So I don't. I think a lot of people in the context of profiling, yes, fraud has helped. It has, but I think a lot of people that are also using fraud. You for think profiling. fraud has affected the economy? No, no, no. What I'm saying is, in terms of profiling. Fraud culture has definitely influenced profiling, but yeah. it's also influenced profiling from the perception of a stupid person. What does that mean? Thank you. Um, the anybody that wants to have problems with you will have problems with you. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. They know you are not a Yahoo boy. SARS knows that you are not a Yahoo boy. They just want to I collect money I was from going you. to move to law They know. Do you understand? They know that you are probably a tech bro. You didn't know what tech Men, bros are. Let me tell you. Let me tell you what, what I got arrested for in 2011. Somebody saw your body and called you a tech bro. Mm, fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> you are your going head. to hell. We need your skonto. You are going to hell. Heaven it is for you. I've never met a yahoo boy. I've never met a yahoo boy with his head. That's not, that's not what I'm saying. What huh? I'm saying is oh, wait, 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 wait. That you've not met the, the ones richest that have ones. the real money. Actually, the, 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 the dumb papa. Those yeah. real estate bros. These are haircut. In short. Bro, I'm not even messing with you. This is the outfit. The only yeah. thing is, your silver chain is, is, is fake. No, 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 no. we are no. gold. Bro, relax. Their own will be 72 billion carat <laughs> gold. No, guys, no, no, no. Big Probably pendants. on that same thing, stature, but 62 <laughs> trillion carat gold that they try to force together in one to make this thing thing. This cannot be anything more than. Five or six car. It's too small. Whatever it time. is, bro, they will shall find a way because they have money. Yeah. To show you. To, to, what are we discussing here? Anyway, so back to my point, which is um, a lot of... They know that you're not, but they just want... I, just, I got arrested in 2011 for having Yahoo Messenger on my phone. Do you understand? So, it's not like they don't know. They don't know. But, but, they, just, but, they, but, they, but know they messaging Melody. Yahoo boys. Melody, they know. Do you? I'm, 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 I'm sorry to sound this way, but do you know how many unexposed, uneducated, uneducated, illiterate, illiterate, I agree. On lack of I law I enforcement, agree, but, I law enforcement but melo- space. Melody, because you are Melody. You, if they want to arrest your boys, they can go to clubs. Somebody packed me and was searching my bag, <clears> and he was saying that his madam, sorry, I be stop and search. And he opened my bag and he did not see anything. First is first, you he should saw... never allow them to stop and search you again. If there's no woman in sight, if there's no woman in sight, never allow he that was again. Do you know this man literally opened my bag and he was pouring out? No. no, I'm like, can you please tell me no, what? No, no, no. If there is no woman in sight, never allow that again. No, it's your, it's your right. They, they Bro, got the, they no, got so the your right is different, different from your safety, my brother. Uh, anytime I meet FRC these days Motolani, on state roads, bro. Motolani. Anytime I meet, they know these things, bro. They, they are banking on your ignorance. is not police, bro. Okay. 
I don't know FRSC to wield guns, but I want to just I hear you on that. speak yeah. on, bro, safety. for this situation, safety. your safety. I hear you. I've had you these guys. You can't argue guys. with those men, though. Are you Bro, joking? May I argue with them? That's you, a man. Nah. Me as a babe. Baba, First and foremost, they're asking me. I give you me. other screws. I, mean, I give you other screws. On my way here today, no, 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 to make this podcast in between, I guys, make sure say I transfer five, 4K. To policeman? Yes. First of all, the day he did. I don't see nobody you get this car. The stuff from just ridiculous. My guy, the I ones that I like are the ones that don't even stress you. Baba, I Give us about far. As the, I like about as, far. as the economy has gotten bad now, most of the time they don't say madam. You look very fine. I'm, I'm, Smile. I'm, which now. area? In Lekki. Lekki here now. You say what? I need to do in hustling. Bro, I don't know the area you are, but I'm also in this vicinity. But they be begging more these days. But anyway, the back to this Ouch. conversation of of like fraud, right? I think they do. They just try to take advantage of people. That's all. Two, so, I don't think. Fr- if you understand economics, like Quincy is saying, like on a granular level, like what's the it's very silly because the things that determine economy, you are even a very very tiny speck of the, com- the conversation. Because what do you have to do with exports? What do you have to do with Fed, um, National Reserve? What do you have to do with exchange? I mean, you are a one part of exchange rates, so it's really not your business. Does that make yes. sense? Yes. So you are not really. Um. A lot of people are also saying that that's why club culture is very expensive in Lagos. I don't even... Fraud? I think, no, I don't think so. I know, are they saying fraud is the reason club culture is expensive? Club culture is expensive. Like, because fraud um, funds the lifestyles of... the people of, that go there to spend money. Yeah. I will see why... I, I, see, I can see the point. I, see, I, see I the can see the point, but it's a monolith. It's a monolithic perspective. Because a lot of people go to clubs to buy drinks that are not really that yes i agree second. now they, but and also what's the percentage part of the reason no part of the reason why drinks are expensive in clubs is because one you are coming to clubs on the island lagos is a cosmopolitan city vi and lekki at the heart of social conversations in afrobeats it only makes sense in any country that you are in in the world. The cosmopolitan cities, the drinks in the clubs are always very fucking expensive. I hear you. No, so so. But yeah. I also think um, that Nigeria, um, the country generally, we are too poor to be pricing our drinks that way. Melody, please. you might be. I am. You are not poor in Jesus' name. Amen. But Motolani, the scap, that analysis with the English okay, is cap. Okay, okay. Let me tell you why. Every club. Is trying to not give you and I a table. I agree. Right? Until Knowing that if you are not a me, you are Melody, come, we buy one bottle of shivers. Max two. Right? We buy two. Don't go for look at my Say shoe and much. be like, hmm, what a broke girl. No, they won't. This looks <laughs> very expensive. expensive. Either way, point is, we buy two bottles. That's not what they want on their table. I promise you. No caskets. Do you understand? Know Sorry, man. Bro, but who are the niggas? But Baba, don't lie I'm not to saying, yourself. I'm not saying. I'm not saying fraud culture is not a part of it. But it's I'm not a part of it. It is the driving force. I don't think. So. Don't Baba, stop club him culture. now. What are you saying? Tony club culture. Are you, are you for real? If you want to know the amount of Yahoo boys in Lagos, right? On a uh, very I'm hot joking. night, solid night. Baba, turn glass. So now this, this drink you are pouring for Quincy, I don't approve of it too. Bro, if you want to... Melody, behave yourself. Melody, say it again. I don't approve of it. This drink that I'm doing what? Pouring for Quincy. You yeah, don't approve pouring. of it. Yeah. What are you talking about? I don't mean like it's pouring... It's not for Melody. Black women. You need to allow black men to live their life. Thank you, sir. What's stopping you people? Pouring the drink <laughs> and also discussing that... Kill no shit, bro, boy. But say the, you let me land with yes, club please culture. Do. Please do. All these people are selling out based on club boys. Oh, my melody, if brother, the tech bros, this time. bro, if the tech bros go to club, right, or the bank the bros bro spending, go bro. to club bank and the this is go to club, I no, hear they you. do go to clubs, I hear you. Yeah. right? They buy what they buy. They're not buying a bottle of ace or spade to throw or to pour to and pour watch hand watch. and pour and wrist watch. I think I think I, I agree on that because even if. Banker, tech bro, that just that just engaged in a high price buyout. They're not doing that. They probably buy like one casket. 
Oh yeah, yeah. If you are not drunk by the end of that one casket, which, which, they go which, out. Which, how many bankers are buying one casket? No, no, I'm saying I say tech bro that just engaged in a high price buyout or that just raised because yeah. Nigerian, Nigerian tech bros be are moving fucking mad in the clubs. They, they, yes, they be raising. No, no, no. Nigerian, no, no, no. no they be I'm raising sorry. a lot. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. They be, they be they raising funds for nothing. No, no, no. Queen wait, C. Wait, 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 Baba. Queen not C. Not you want tell me. Queen C. C. Nigerian Let tech bros. Be fucking cashing out, not just in Nigeria, but in Melody, East Africa. Melody, please listen to this. There are probably seventy-five, sorry, seven thousand five hundred tech companies, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Twenty of them are moving serious money in terms of legitimately, obviously, mm -hmm. right, from their ideas and getting funding and all of that mm -hmm. stuff. And then maybe another like fifty percent of that amount. They spend for club. How many of them? Spend? Bros, that money no day. Can he behave? Quincy, let me what are we discussing? Let me let me, let me break something down no, to you first. Give please, you me. can't. Wait. I no agree. Wait. Listen. Let me break something down to you first. We're we're we are digressing. I need us to come back on point. But before we come back on point, out of every ten startups that raise Series A funds, only one of them is okay. It is a fact. Only one of them is going to succeed. That's and a it's a fact. You can research where, it. Where is your statistics? It's you not can a fact. It. It's, it's a statistics. It's I'm a listening. Fact. Out of every 10 startups yes. that raise funds, yes. only one of them is going to get to a point of becoming one, a unicorn, or engages in a high price buyout. Okay. It's a fact. Statistically. Now, the problem is, the, the thing with Nigeria is, it's a hotbed for investment. Because right now in the world, the world is flush with new money and every person that uh, that has access to new money wants to turn it into generational wealth and because of that there's a lot more money flying around and people are looking to invest in every fucking new idea because nobody has a crystal ball it's just like investing in artists <clears throat> you just don't know what is going to go that's why if you're packaged very well you have the right fuck i know i've been told of two guys shout out to my lawyer that told me about that a guy that has raised funds twice. For which company? I don't want no, to. No, don't tell mention the company. Like, what's the, like why is he raising it twice? One was a health in, health company that raised about 1.5 million. did he want to do what he was supposed to do with the money? Nothing, bro. Oh Not my, a single went, fucking thing. And he went again? Yes. And he raised another 2.2. 2. Not a single fucking thing in the world, bro. Not my Ishan. You understand? So, but the good thing is, do you know what? I kind of respect the hustle as well. Of course. I kind of, I, I do. Because, I do you get? I, I respect, maybe not racist, but I respect it. Yeah, even racist. Because a lot of thought goes into it. A lot of networking goes into it. But now, you're not even dumb. Do you understand? You are not a dumb nigga. Do you understand? But the problem is the long-term effects. Because if you look at the amount of tech companies that are in, in cohorts per year, <coughs> between 2021 and now, African cohorts in like the big ones have reduced significantly. Yeah. The amount of money... Um, shout out to shout out to TC Daily that, that informs me on these things. Tech about daily newsletter. Me too. Yes. Subscribe. Me too. Oh, you read Tech about daily. You are a Wait, can I? Can I? No, just let me finish. Now, um, so you look at the amount of money. The amount of money is increasing in terms of investment that's coming into the African um, space, but the amount of companies that are getting smaller companies that are getting a look in. I don't think is increasing as it was between 2018 and 2022. Yeah. Like it's a, it's a not that I don't think it's not because a lot more companies are not doing what they said they, they would use do the, with money the money to do. What's in like, what's in there was a company that I don't want to mention. It's hard to take a ball again. They do a lot of expose, expose. on the Nigerian <laughs> tech space. There was a CEO that was paying himself six hundred thousand in a month. He's already out there on social what? media. I don't want I don't to understand. say anything. They just come, come and sue our podcast. It's true, it's allegedly. The next is that that company, I think the company pack up, they not launch any. They not launch any product. And you're buying your no, no, salary. No, no. They, you, they even took their their their. On some their, FTX shit. No, Tonani. They took. The, it's even worse than FTX. Wait, they took the best performing staff on trips to Dubai. So as a best performing staff, what were you best performing on? Tell the products. So what did you perform on? What was the what's, what's the KPI? Any yeah, products we had best performing end uh, of the year bonus. So in bonus is, for when the CEO was not tired, paid the original products could work more. Or oh, move it to another, when it another entity. You understand? So, bro, like if you go to Kenyan clubs 
and you see Nigerian startup boys, are you, joking? you are going to run out. Are you joking? It's a fact. Are you joking? They are it's balling. A fact. They are balling, balling out. In... I, may I say this? Please. The Kenyan club is not is not seventh rated club in Lekki. I'm talking about money, bro. You're not listening to me. You are not listening to me. Oga, I they tell you, maybe in a pigeon go feed do them. I they tell you of where one human being, they do 20 something million naira for one club, one night. People, bro, you see that, um, um, what, what's that thing? You see that folk tale. Say people, they tell them, say, close the club or shut them, down them the bar. Alone. Bro, do you know what it means to shut down a popular, strong club? A top ranking club in Nigeria, not in Lagos. In Nigeria. Hmm. Niggas are saying shut it down. What do you mean by shut it down? How no, much is shut. your bar? Because at this point, eh, the, these the people, people don't care if you call the Melody, anymore. Melody, these niggas have drinks, a proper functioning club, have drinks what? Almost hundreds of millions of naira. Based on how much they're pressing it. But let's not forget that most of the, some, people, some of these guys buy on credit, Sha. No, 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 no. Level. Level. no. They, they buy, buy on, on credit. credit. No, they buy on yeah, credit. but these niggas also don't want to even buy on credit anymore. Anyways. It's yeah. direct transfer. Let's talk we'll about collect and no, no, no. They send it to you in BTC. Let's talk yeah. about this fraud conversation in the music space. So let's, let's the fraud conversation. Thank you very much for bringing us back. Wait first. Wait nah. first. No, nah. let's, let's, let's not. Let's not. No, no. Nah. Let's not read my nah. room. Let's not read my room. No, no, so back. back to this conversation in the music industry. Shout out to I uh, Media Tire, the OG AOT2. He wrote an article in Shout 2018 about I think it was after Sorry, someone. Sorry, I need to mm. fact check something. What you said. So what I said before about the one in forty is actually one in ten is actually correct according to Angel Lee's data. Why are you fact checking? I'm, Melody, I'm an award-winning journalist. Of your pocket, a venture back <laughs> states that. Okay, let me read what. The, oh, fuck. According to Angel List, Angel List data, a venture back seat stage startup has an estimated one in forty shots or two point five percent chance of becoming a unicorn today. It's a fact. Now, uh, what were we talking about? We're talking about Ayomide um, Ayomi Tayo, the OG. Yeah, Ayomide Tayo wrote an article in 2018 after people were accusing Nice about after I released um, Living, Living Things. Things. Oh, wow. Culture baby. Um, did Living <laughs> Things and people were accusing him of like singing about Yahoo mm -hmm. and glorifying Yahoo and everything. Mm -hmm. Throughout the history of time, tell to that article as well. Underworld money has always funded the entertainment industry. Underworld money. It's the truth. It's not my fault. I didn't make the rules. Globally. Globally. Allegedly, Frank Sinatra was funded by drug money and cartel money. Ah, Allegedly. Come on. Bro, you get why I no one entered that convo. No, no, I'm going to enter the convo. Ah. Right? His patrons were allegedly men of the underworld. It's not a new thing. Like all your favorite Nigerian Some. superstars, Melody. All your favorite Nigerian pop stars performed for corrupt men okay. and drug dealers. Drug dealers? Yes. All of them <sighs> hailed drug dealers and 419, quote unquote, on their songs. All. Not you can't all. Say all. Maybe not you can't all. Say all. I don't even know who my you favorite is. Wrong. You can't say all. Okay. Let me say, okay, let me know. Some. The biggest. My fave is Choma Jesus. How about that? Okay, so Fair the enough. biggest What's ones. What's up with that? So rephrase that. The biggest ones. The biggest ones. The biggest pop stars. Or some of, of the biggest era. pop stars. The biggest pop stars. In Nigeria. Yeah. So you're Motolani Waste now. You are saying that David or me. Um, I Whiskey. said of the old era. Wait now. Of okay. which era? Motolani, you didn't add that one. Era. You didn't say old, old era. You didn't say old era. Oh, okay. So I started about... to mention David Whiskey, Burner Boy, and Rema. Because, yeah, it's big for do now. You think they, do you think they performed for. Do you think they performed for all clean men? Who? Do you think all of them have performed for clean people? Do you factually have it that they performed for... I don't. I'm, I'm asking you, do you think that's what it is? I mean, I, I'm not even begrudging them for it. Because they are calling to come and collect money. I don't need to understand where you're getting your money. Is it not just to sing? It's to collect my money. I you sing the same song. The reality is the reality. All right? What I'm saying is, all your favorite Nigerian stars all. from the 80s, all the favorite biggest pop stars from, from the, the 80s, 90s, we're singing about pop, like all. Why well, listen to Shino Peter? Which one is all? Yeah. Only Kawenu they sing for a drug baron too. Sorry, the late. 
Uh-uh. You know? Let's not let's not talk. Let's not go into details of this conversation. Well, you have. I don't. Use, wait, do you have? So that? let's just let's just use some. Let's, plan. let's, just, let's use some. Can we use most or some? Okay, so let's use and most. not all. So let's use most. We can be all. Come I on, agree, bro. Tolani. I agree. I agree. Let's not use all. Let's use some. Most for context. Some. All. Oh. Oh, boy, I mean, let's go. I love you. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> all your niggas. All your legends are your faves. Please, I've either hailed or benefited ah. from bad from wait, dirty wait, money. Wait, wait, wait. Fuck who's that shit. Melody, what are you saying? Legend? Melody, who is your legend? My legend, you know my, my legend is not on that, on that please. That's not who that. is your Melody, legend? Your legend. legend was to go and perform in India and collected a million and collected the inequity. Are Rema, you playing? So is that Rema? Is your no. legend Rema? I can't, Don't be I'm playing sorry. with me, nigga. Wait, I'm sorry, wait. I, I, I feel very insulted is right now. Is your legend now. Rema? Who is my legend? I don't Beyonce. Get, okay, because don't, don't ever get it twisted. Oh, Beyonce. That's my Your that's legend did that. a song in Afrobeats and the place where she re- released the music was not that's available in Africa. Are you playing me? That's all you keep shouting every day. She released Africa, Afro. She released African What's giants. What's all wrong I mean, now? Africa, my bro. Lion King. And she did not put it on NTA. At the gift. Bo- um, Lion <laughs> King. <laughs> <laughs> and she did yeah. not play it on NTA. <laughs> At the bo- can we move on? She did not play it on AIT. Now, let's go back to this 90% cast Africa. African artist. Guys, it's let's, okay. let's 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 not, let's, let's not, not segue. Let's go back. Now, so all I'm standing on it. It's all okay. of them have either benefited or hailed or performed for dirty dirty Corrupt money. people. Do you understand? It's what it is. I don't blame them for it. It's, it's where the money is. is. Okay. Right. And then another part of the con- another part of the conversation. I wrote an article. So I've written several articles on this thing, and I wrote an article in 2018 or 2019 where I was talking about the fact that. The person that can spend money, like, there are, there's so much talent in Nigerian music. It's a saturation. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. And everybody has somebody that's willing to spend money on them. But the person, the, the person that's willing to spend the average money that can blow an artist, it's not going to be clean money. Absolutely. Because mu- music money is not setting. My bro. Do you understand? It's Absolutely. incredible risk. Absolutely. No, but you have to no, be pulling out, out of clean money that can no, I agree, music. but I'm saying the majority. Yeah, yeah. Do you understand? The that. majority clean will not. Please, don't clean say money that. can. No, I didn't say clean money can't. I said clean money will not. There are clean people. No, no. Who, no. Quincy. Quincy. Wait, now. I know what I'm telling you, bro. Quincy. What is it? Wait, there's a lot of. Wait, let me ask you a question. Clean money. Currently in the industry. Hold on. Hold on. Currently in the industry, what's the average fund to take average cost to take an unknown artist to a visible status? Two hundred million naira at least. What are we discussing? Yeah. Which average Nigerian clean money would drop two hundred million so on risk. for you? So like that's on risk. Really. That's an exaggeration. So Not really. No. That's an exaggeration. You know. You know how much two hundred million dollars is. You said dollars naira. and naira. Two hundred million naira. Do you know how much two hundred million naira? Let me no, let me give you much. let me give you in dollars. You I'm can coming. do that with less. Let me. I'm you coming. Can do that with less I'm that. coming let's now. Not be I'm coming. Please. Uh uh-uh. uh Two hundred million. I'm coming. To promote one artist, you can do it. You can do it with okay, less. Okay, fifty million. Take yeah, I mean, fifty million. Hundred million. To do one record, brother. Fifty million, brother. Wait now, brother. 50 million ain't gonna do shit for you. Wait now. Yeah, it was, it was Shabby, it I want to enough. But 100 can do something. Melody. Wait now, bro. How bro. much is 100 million listen, dollars? Listen, listen, listen. How, how, how much is 100 million naira in dollars? Why are we using dollars? Are we, no, no. Why are we not using dollars? Because dollars, dollars is where a lot of people are getting advanced. Dollars is what the expense. Well, yes. I Even hear, your blog, your Nigerian... 25,000 25, dollars is about 35... It's about 50 million naira. Bro, your Nigerian... 25,000 dollars is, is almost 50 million naira. 50 million. No, it's not over. It's not over. It's not getting... It's, it might not get you shit. Dude, no your Nigerian bloggers are begging their fee to USD. Yes! Your Nigerian bloggers. Tell me why a bloody... Freaking blogger. Don't mention their name. But you're not allowed Tell to. Tell me why a bloody freaking blogger is charging $450k for a post. They are charging, they are charging it. Report them. You can't. Report can't. them to whom? What's not allowed? Because they are hustling their money. If you don't want to pay, fuck off. Simple. I feel like also at Nigerians, we need to cultivate the culture of not turning our face the other way when we see something going wrong. Melody, so what am I supposed to do? Report. Call out this blog. Call out that blog. How many blogs am I calling out? Could I call out my employer? <laughs> Oga. <laughs> Efu. 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 I'm just petty. <laughs> Blogger day, he say, he say okay, so for one post, he say you go pay 
hypothetically, 200K, right? Mm. One post. What is one... Wait, now. Strategic, hold that we're going on break. Strategically, what is one post going to do for you as an artist trying to promote music? Hold, hold that thought. Ladies and gentlemen, we are still on Zero Conditions Podcast. The conversation is getting hotter. Melody is still wearing pink skirts. Just like Nagara start wearing hotel shoes. Quincy is wearing designer clothes. What's the full Quincy shivers for Jack Boromo? What's the much? Ladies and gentlemen, this podcast is still going on. Whatever you miss, you can catch it on Mondays when it comes out on YouTube and Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Boom Play, Audio Mac, anywhere you get your podcast. ATM Sharp. What's the job? ATM Sharp. Shout out to Joan for that shit. Sharp and Shout uncan. out to Melody for piling the pressure on Joan's life. Someone even commented life. on YouTube that like, shout out to Melody for President Joe to drop by eight. I didn't know I needed it by eight on the door. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to Joe for that. What um, this episode was still brought to you by Shivers Rigo and Mr. Quincy Jones. He's in the He's building. With us. I'm watching. And this episode is still on Ch- Pop Central Channel 189 of GSTV. <laughs> See you soon. Quincy. Yeah, address me. Where was I? You were talking about a uh, call. No, no, don't worry. Mm-hmm. We have missed. We have, we have, Either we have way. No, no, he was talking about the 100 million conversation and artists and, you know, him mentioning... 100 million might do something. It will do something. To my, my, uh, Melody, do you work in this hour space? Funny Especially story. No. Funny story. She's one of the... No, no, no. I'm willing to Let's say this. Let's not do this. Let's not do this. Actual... Actual... Eh, eh. No, no, no. You know, say Don't... people just they award themselves gatekeepers. Right, she's an actual gatekeeper. Now, nah, actual gatekeeper, where you not feel jump her fence. How? Damn, nigga. Ah! That makes no sense. You are that I'm powerful, not. my nigga. I'm not. Like, what Get the house, fuck bro. am I? Stop, Get please. Out, Let's not do that. Get out, bro. Please. Who where do you me? work? Where do you work? Stop it. Let's not do that. No lie. Hey, no lie. Hey, no lie. Hey, hey. you say I should oh, not God. talk. Okay, so, okay. So, Shout out to the brand. Where do you work? Not zero in on Shout out to the brand. Brand that's not paying us. How about that? It's okay, it's okay. How about that? You guys, I'm begging you. Oh, we're here. You, it's okay. Let's oh, okay. So let's let's get back to this. Let's, let's get back. Let's get back. So, fraud money has always powered entertainment yeah. in any capacity, from yeah. recording to blowing the artist to perform. Especially everywhere perform, in the world. Perform, everywhere in the world. In the world. Of it. So the, the glory. Thank you. Which takes me to Ayomaf. Mm-hmm. Let's go there. Shout out to Ayomaf. Someone, someone, someone. When Ayomaf posted, Monday we go to school. I'm a love a lot. Tuesday we go to school. Igbo don't finish. Do you understand? Someone was saying like immorality is powering Nigeria. Like he mentioned music. something about making money. Yeah, the Man. person was now saying about like fraud music is is starting to take over Nigeria music and we don't know what to do, something, something, something. And my heart was heavy with thoughts. Because three points. One. I don't like hypocrisy. Hmm. Two, I don't like lack of reality. Like people do not do not understand their reality. And then three, people not understanding the business of music. Chrissy mo ori mi pe won file. Charles, Mr. Uche behind. Thank you for joining us. Um, so the number one is your reality is not my reality. You need to understand what the reality of inner city Nigeria is. When I say inner city, I mean people that are actually going through it. Those people. Pull up that lyrics. What are their parents? What's their background like? Give me a second. What their parents are like? What's their background like? What do their older brothers do? Are you finding Igbo in secondary Give school? Me a second. Yes. 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 That's actually the list of your worries. Like it's not even. It's the list of your worries. Points to be addressed. It's the list of this your worries. This is norm. Even you while. Guys, let's not exaggerate. Melody is the list of mm. your okay, worries. Stop this now. What are you, you talking? Guys, wait. Melody. I give you. I give you the wait, list of let, your worries. May I give reference? Are you let me saying, give reference, I'm, please. Let's, let's let's narrow this thing down with facts. How Melody, old are you? I did say. How old is a typical SS1 student? 14 years old. Are you smoking the boat? Guy, what are you saying? Oh, I'm on within live TV. Melody, what are you saying? I can't be. Let me tell you a story. Shout out to my mom. My mom retired as a teacher. Shout out to my mom. See the Lagos watching live at home now. Um, she she was the caught a, a boy in SS2 at the time. Mm-hmm. Came to school with weed. Not just weed, came to school with codeine, came to school with ref. No. 
As in, w- w- SS2 at 15 years old. It was 14 going on 15. Now, they called his mother to the principal's office. His mother was swearing, I'm going to sue this school. His mother was one of these high caliber women in society. This was a kid's state, by, by the way. My mom retired from a kid's state. And there's no way my son is doing this. He's a son of a pastor or something, something, something. And so they called the boy. He was in SS2 by this time. Mm-hmm. Make no mistake. This was private school, though. A boy that grew up in housing estates, flat to flat, quote and unquote, didn't seem to be exposed. And he said, and he, my mom said the boy was looking down like this. And his mother was raking. Tell them that you were not doing it, sir. Mommy, I'm so sorry. I've been smoking weed since GSS2. Oh. I don't know what you're aging. This is a fact. From now, six imagine... In Niger- sorry, sir. From a six, some schools, then they smoke Ibo from Prime 6. Quincy, hold that thought. And we're back. Money. Continue the conversation. It's getting Bro, hotter. Quincy, continue. Money. This episode was super sweet by Shiro Shiro. I love him. Some kids <laughs> have been smoking you. weed since Prime 6. Yes. What are you talking Max. about? Cult activity. Oh, yes. They in Prime yes. yes. No. Uh, are you not in tune with what's going on in Nigeria? This is the culture. No, no, no. Perceptively. Perceptively. Melody, when we say oh, inner city, deeply. it's not your reality. Oh. You are on a body. No, no, no. The no, no, no. Trenches, no, Melody, when I say, when I say, you that, to remix me. That's, a, that's a lot of trench in your outfit. Comparatively. That's a lot of trench in your, in your. <laughs> you are on a body. <laughs> me, comparatively, even though I'm, I wasn't born rich, I'm on a body. Comparatively. Let me tell you, you guys keep mixing. Melody, don't Omo miss the word. Com- Melody. It's not the same. Fuck. Melody. Don't miss the concept. I was even of born with a spoon. Melody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you were using fork and knife. How about that? <laughs> Melody. <laughs> Chrissy caught you there, my nigga. I swear. I swear. You're fucked up. I swear. There's no comeback. Let's just leave Don't. it. Let's Man's was using fork and knife. <laughs> no. There was no sp- spoon, was too shabby. <laughs> so posh, nigga. This nigga was fine. But yeah, I now, find it oh. just, just like the, when I say inner city melody, you are not inner city. Hmm. You are not inner city, Quincy. You say you are not inner city. No, but you see, uh, this is it. School. There are different let me, people. Just, let, just let me. Bro, let, 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 land, let, land, land, no, no, not land, inner city. Sir. So inner when we are talking about inner city, not we're like about, I don't want to mention places. Okay, cool, fine. I'm just talking about what when you know inner city. Go and research for There's one place I want to even mention, mention but it. my body are no fit. No mention them. No. Now, okay, when I say fine. inner city, I mean like where the shit's be going down. Hmm. You understand? Where the parents, I don't know if you mentioned, um, uh, I don't know if you've heard the song. Um, Do you know that song? That's old now. Oh, that's, you know, that, that, that's, Reality. That song was made from reality. Babangowo garage, Yanta Gogoro, Omongowo town. Do you understand? Also, like, what's the whole town? Whole town, town means you collect um, streets, um, streets, enforcer on, the street. on the streets. No, enforcer. Conduct, okay. Enforcer. See, see, nah, see, see what you did. Butter. Talk. Don't worry. But um, <laughs> what's it that they call them boys where they collect money for road? Okay. Okay, I get them now. Okay. Do you understand? Area boys. Do you understand? These songs were made from reality. <laughs> now imagine what. The, what are the who are the heroes of these boys? Their heroes are Yahoo boys. They are political thugs. They are, what do you think the life now? They, are, they come from poverty. Do you understand? What do you think they think is their way out? Do you think it's by doing law and going practicing and going start practicing under Bolaige? I don't know. Nah, nigga. Nah, nigga. Their idea of normal is fucked. So you are categorically telling me that we have teenagers that are in secondary school and primary school. L- younger than teenagers that are doing it's drugs. Not, and not just in Nigeria. You are selling it to them. Because even to me... Melody, you don't understand how easy drugs. it is to buy drugs it's in this not. country. Because I don't even think... They don't... Let me not talk. Because they won't even Melody, sell please stop it. it. Okay, cool. You need to stop this shit. How the access to drugs... What do in you Nigeria. mean? Okay, when you people say access, are you saying that you can walk on, the, like you're walking on the road? Melody, I'm road? walking to an event in Lagos. I'm getting. You keep saying that I have never seen drugs at an event in Lagos. You know, because you, you, you don't go out. out. You are I no, go out. No, no way. Me, I don't go out. 
Even when you go away. Don't we go out together? Oi, oi. Let's question. Even when you are not the customer, the best if I was to sell from my experience of observation, the best I would try to sell to you yeah. is e uh, ecstasy. Ecstasy. Because you are a babe. Ecstasy. That's the best. I you are not going to buy the loud, the... No, they don't sell colos on road. How much they do? Ecstasy. It depends on where you go they to. They offer colos It depends on where you go to. Extreme. It depends on where you go to, brother. Either way, ecstasy. bro, so wait, I, I step in everywhere. I don't smoke weed. You guys, wait. What kind I of... I step in everywhere. Bro, every they are offering me. time, everywhere I go, every From night, the moment I park. You will hear... Is it that you hear... Bro, so, so what's train? So what's train is ecstasy? What's train is ecstasy? What? Is it's not a straight. It's a drug. That one, uh, nah, drug. It's a drug. I think it contains benzodiazepine. Benzodiazepine. Oh, you're not smoking that one. You're not smoking. No, no. It's, a, it's like a, a medication. You take it like a medication. Whatever, but I've never tablet. seen them selling. I cannot lie. You, but I cannot lie. Never, I've never seen them selling. Can, can you agree there, that? Why. Can you agree that you're sheltered? Can I let's not do that. Hidden. I don't I'm think sheltered is the word. Hey, Omo Igboro, stop it, please. Omo what? Oh my god, bro. Like, <laughs> the way you said it, the places that good. The places I, step, I think we're good. Like saying Omo Igboro is not, it's not, it's not, Omo it's not, no, but you guys, to be very honest, I, I understand <laughs> that you say that they sell this, but I've never, I don't want, I don't like, I don't want to cap. I've never seen it before. Well, events in Lagos, I repeat it again. As I pack my car. Wedding. Yes. Wedding. People's weddings. Mm. Bro, Melody, guys as they are hawking Naira to you, they want to sell you Naira. Okay, I'll ask tomorrow if I go out. That. Sorry, they say, if, um, hello, do you have... Melody, you know what? You and I need to go out together. But we go out together. No, we don't go out together. You they drive. No, you be in my car and I'll park. From the moment as I park... As the man driving the car. As you driving... Bro, you said profiling. You don't understand the concept of profiling in Lagos. Do you think they only give me the string gum? Because that's what you look at. See your skirt. See, you are wearing pink. See your skirt. Pink no and grey shoes. Uh, sorry. <laughs> no between gum skirt be this. You see a rasta, you go sell amigo if you are a marketer. <laughs> Let's be honest. No. What does she look like? She looks like twin Posh. Gum. She looks okay. like okay, those I, I, other talking, brands. Okay, I, I think I understand. You okay, know? I think I get what Fried chicken and chips. <laughs> They'll sell it to you. Okay, that's fine. Okay, yeah, bro. I, I think I get what you're trying to say. Okay, so, so back to this IMF I'm conversation. Somehow I look the that's... way I look. <laughs> Regardless of how expensive Somehow it is. I look like loud. Even though you are wearing Air Force. <laughs> Somehow I look like loud. I don't know why they always do that. Is it bro, <laughs> loud? Bro, 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 exactly. And I have to tell them that I don't bro, smoke, nigga. I don't nigga. smoke weed, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't smoke weed. Don't, is it? Bro, yeah, we see, me. they start with, right? Yep. It's you. But don't not look be back. you. Yep. They are getting your attention. attention. Then if they will now overhail you <laughs> better than the Bruh, loud wow. Well. Loud wow. Well. Ah, Egbo. Loud wow. Well. No. <clears throat> Make a salam to you. Bros, you don't share it. Loud Loud day. Yeah. Loud day. Yeah. Yeah. Then when you say, bro, this is real life to me, I say, oh, no, I mean Fagbo. That means I don't smoke weed. Mm -hmm. Then they will now list the other amenities. Things. No, amenities to that you might reach that point be interested that you in. might engage in. But I think it's actually highly responsible for you to be selling drugs to a, to a teenager. Do you think they give a shit? Like, so that means that we don't hold ourselves to any standard as a this human This is thing. fucking Nigeria. Niggas are trying to survive, no. bro. Today you realize that people are making 1K so profit wrong. from selling loud. To a teenager, like... Teenager. Melody, you don't ah. understand what this, what this means. If you are selling, if you are selling a, pack of, a pack of Nestle water, uh -huh. mm, because I, I know this because I just bought a pack, like, mm -hmm. on retail. You sell it for 3,000 won. Mm -hmm. so retail we, price, you're selling Nestle? it as, If you buy it on wholesale, mm -hmm. you're selling Nestle. Is it not Nestle? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 3,000 won. Like, but you want to sell it at retail price, you're selling it at 3,008. That's 700 profit for 20 bottles. Now, for small loud, you're making 1,000, 2,000 profit. Do you know what that is? Pasta. No, no, yeah. no. No, you that's your personal. Purchase. That's your purchase for one small thing. 
the bros where yeah. you buy you collect from in bulk day then the bros where gets the importer well, we surely cannot connect. be selling to children but we shouldn't we shouldn't but the reality of the matter is nigeria is a decadent society where the definition of morality is so skewed it's lost it's so fucked that the reality so you that you're on twitter talking about why the fuck is i singing monday we, you are fucking ignorant no but are you saying people should not ask questions you are not asking questions you are not seeking understanding is what i'm telling you melody do you understand? You are not understanding this boy's reality. This is real life to some people. I, I hear that. I feel like sometimes we use our own reality as a yardstick to measure things. But I also, and I also, I hear you guys on this weed and um, drug conversation because I'm going to tell you guys something that happened to me like when I was in uni. I told you this story yeah, before. I think so. Like I was in uni, I think I was in 200 level, you know, and you know, we were a couple of students reading together in the library and i was like no i wasn't i wasn't told i was like final year i think i was in final year or so 300 i think i was in final year and i was literally there trying to read and the book was not entering my head i was like what am i going to oh, do oh you told me this story. i've told you this story before now that i saw a group of boys and they were reading and they were like oh they're engineering so i was telling them that oh guys how are you guys able to read this and they told me that ah that there's this thing that they take like they give me this thing to take. You're going to keep I'll be able to, my, my brain will open and I'll be able to memorize everything. And I was like, oh, are you for real? Like, what, what does this thing do? You're like, oh, just for retentive memory. And I said, okay, please give me one. And they gave me one blue thing. <sighs> I don't want to tell you what that blue thing is. Nigga. And I saw the blue thing. But the good thing about it is that in my family, like, we have like really good relationships. So I called myself, like, how far? Me, I mean, library. I just took one blue thing now that they she gave said, me. Eh? She said, stand up. Mister was like, stand up. I was now. Like, what is now? She said, so like, like she's like, slowly like stand up. She said, smile at the person that gave you whatever they just gave you now. Smile, stand up immediately. I was like, why? Like, leave now. Because they're going to, they, they were about to rape you. And she's like, you need to yep. leave now. That thing's going to kick in in like two minutes. I'm like, eh, kick in. She's like, don't react. So I stood up. <clears> and one other guy had seen them from afar. And he walked up to me like, hi, don't worry. I know what's going on. Yeah. Let me just walk with you. She's like, no, don't walk with me. My staff said nobody should walk with me. And she's like, no. And the boy's like, no, don't worry. I know what's going on. I need to work with you. And because I, of that I, moment. I got to my hostel. I, wo I walked like really quickly to my hostel. I got to the door of my room and I fell down. And from that day, from <coughs> that, from that evening again. to the next morning, I was sleeping like this. My yeah. friends literally dragged me to the examination hall. Like I was in the hall. Did you pass? <laughs> Monday we go to school. Say, I'm Hello. a love fall out. <laughs> As I saw my results <laughs> and I saw E, I was like, wow. Yeah, you passed, man. You I, moved, I passed with flying colors, actually. No, carry over. <laughs> Cons considering so, the so circumstances. I, so that, that was my moment of understanding that some of these things, like your, our realities are not the same. If yeah. I didn't have my sister in that moment to tell me what that Shout was. Shout out to your sister. Jonathan, I would have never understood what that situation was. So it's like, People literally, that's why I said that we also need to hold ourselves to some, some level Melody, of accountability. It doesn't work. Like, mm -mm, it doesn't why is somebody, work. a random person telling me I want to read you? are giving me blue something. It's not a Let me give an example. Let me just wait now. I don't want to say it. Wait, wait. I don't know what it is. Of course so you don't I'm, know. I will name names. Yes. So, some people think that going to a W bar is a goal. Lifestyle choice. Yep. Right? Because now you can it's take pictures and show that you've been there. The Why do you think Nigerian babes take pictures with this sign of restaurants in Lagos? Baba, it's is that intention now? They want yourself. <laughs> it's the pinnacle, oh. right? Monday we oh, go to school. It's the I'm pinnacle. Love, I love. Even down to hook up girls. But I'll come there. Mm. What's in the hook up girls? You go to. Where's your mother? Bro, you do that. Did she ignore me. Okay. You do that. Can we get that? Can we get that bottle, please? People's, um, people's, what's the word? People's W bar mm -hmm. is the new African shrine. No offense. The new African shrine is a beautiful place. It holds so much heritage, right? Shout out to but Shiva's Riddle. Some people that misbehave, mm -hmm. right? Those people that misbehave. You've not been there to see it or witness it. Skudum, skudum, keke, keke, skudum, skudum, do, do, do. Yes, one keke na pep, one driver, 
or one rider in front of the Kekenape. One passenger in front, where space, no day for passenger for front. Then behind is six niggas. Gunning for your people, helping another three people. Guys, I hear that's their queen locks. I hear all this conversation around Ayama and the music and people talking about it. But I, my conversation here mm. is, it's okay for people to like respect other people's reality, right? There's also a thin line between singing about your reality and glorification of certain melody. Things. Melody. I, I'm not saying he was. I'm just saying that generally in music space like Afrobeat, there's some there's there's a, there's even one song that I heard last week. I've not I've not gotten over that song. Which song is that? Where they're saying that if you have if you have gotten if you have if they don't if they don't what's that thing? If they don't press you, let us know. What's that? <laughs> what does that mean? But did you? See, I know one walk. See, if you have, if I do, well, I did, say, did you see people press you? Like the if they don't press you, what does that mean? I know one do something. Maybe they press me. I don't I don't receive. What's all that? Squeezy, you want to say like what, are, what, what are you promoting to young people? Are you telling them that they should not work? They should no, be that's pressing? That's an idealistic point of view. I get that. I'm just saying that there's also glorification of this pressing. Everywhere, press me, press melody. me, press me. Melody. Have been, melody. I think that you have... Been, I think that a lot of Nigerians have lost track with actual reality. reality. Yeah. This is the same reason why someone in um, a political position would say that if an average Nigerian person or young chap finds 8,000 naira, uh -huh. he can't change his uh -huh. life. As in, right? yeah, actually. Yes, with 8,000 naira. Uh -huh. No worry. Now, fresh. They said that. No worry. Huh. God. Saying this to say that the understanding of one's reality is the beginning of knowledge. Wisdom. I if agree. If you have not explored to understand how people live, Bro, there are people that all they have to do, the only skill that they believe in that has proven result for them is coming close to your car. Bro, I'm not playing. Coming close to your car and, and saying, getting money. Egmo, 500. Egmo, Alpha, you give them five each. Because of they'll the collect, they'll collect from 20 of the people that day. The of the Nigerian currency. You know that every other currency will not do anything. You just appreciate them so you can move. It's also the concept of you see this amount of people, you have to drop money so you can move. But you think that the fact that we give them the money has also created a culture, no, has also enabled that's it. That's not oh, the no. reality. No, 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 no. There's the other side. Melody. Don't give them, then see how people will without react means, to you will bite. I, I, I hear that. Do you that. get that? I hear that. So, the reality the reality about this thing is, I don't want us to, to spend too much time dwelling on yeah. this. Yeah, we need to move. I your math. Mm, when I saw that conversation on Twitter, it showed me that a lot of Nigerians still don't understand what reality is. Yeah. He's talking about real life. His right? real life. Real life. Real life. Real life. He's from his POV. Hear you. Which POV is at your mouth? At your mouth has popular slash hit records. Yep. Moving in the system. Mel Mel at your mouth is, is earning so much money. You and you tell me that his real life is what? Monday we no, go to I'm school. I'm not saying that's his real life. I'm saying that from his POV. No, no. From his own POV. No, yeah. So no, it's the reality. It's the reality. Of the system you that is Nigeria. But it's not, Decadence. Is I the agree, reality. but it's not everybody's reality. I agree. It's not everybody's. It's not everybody's reality. reality. But melody, it's a widespread, it's a wider spread reality that than is, you realize. I agree. I agree. So now the other part, part of the conversation oh, is hypocrisy. Yes. Now hypocrisy occurs where you where you enjoy fifty cents. Why are you having a problem with IMF? I agree. How about that? No, one use accent now. <laughs> but let's not also forget yes, that. Nah, bro. Let's not also forget but one use accent now. Let's not forget me. that people that have come out from that system to like from the US, like the the American rappers that sing about violence, the ones that have now gone on to become moguls, also talk about how we need to the system needs to be clean. Because up those niggas are fucking rich niggas. Yes, but they also talk about that, oh, we, this is not the way to continue to go. Because they are Which rich niggas. Them? 
Uh-uh. Most of them have spoken How about often? those cultures now. No, a lot, no. A, a lot of them. Jay-Z has spoken about it. Hove, Hove made a whole album about it. spoken about it. A lot of them. Like, they do. They do. Maybe, every, maybe not speak per, against it. Oga, 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 everybody you have, have the way mentioned has spent at least 20 years glorifying it. What are you discussing here now? I agree. Even Drake released a, a, a mob ties. I love that record. But guys, no, so, no, so, are we not saying I that? I love it. Are we not saying that in Afrobeat or in the commercial <laughs> around music, it's okay for this is not about I so I understand that because he wasn't even necessarily glorifying. He was just speaking about what is going on. But I'm speaking about people that glorify at this Aza. Aza. Melody, don't, press your don't, hand. Don't, don't, you, don't think about this as glorification. Think about this as documentation that you begin to understand. If what my, do you mean? Melody, so, Documentation. So your, Melody, your, if your, I told Melody, you, if you send if you your answer, what would life? you think? If you talk, if you spoke about your day, your day to day, is you going to work and talking to your boss and talking about to craft content and talk to influencers and spend influencer budget? Yes or no? No, yes or no? No, no yes. Now the reality of some people is one to console your share more. One buy my yes or local. They sit on also okay. soap. <laughs> <laughs> it's what? not Delta soap, but they say it's okay, on Juju. soap. Bro, what? Juju? You know, if you want to talk, you talk. I don't like all these studio people. I want to pass on work, bro. Okay, what's Oshé? Educate, like, tell us. Oshé is soap. Exactly. So, so how do you yes, sit on soap? Me, Oshé is soap. So you see that you will foam the bucket at the house. You now, now sit down, do down inside. No, no, we don't do them now. Bubbles, 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 bubbles. So Nine how is sitting podcast. down on soap help you with talking to me? I don't know, my nigga. You guys are... You're just... asking the wrong people. Okay, but okay, they sit down on Oshé and they talk to Maye. Bro, they talk to Maye and then there are some people that maybe this is not their reality, but that's what they see. Can't, we use, do. can't we use our... our our, can't How, we use, we are can't too we use small our sample music? Size. No, can't we use our music? Can't we use what we're exposed to? Can't we use our reality to speak against? No, we can't. Because it's going to be insensitive. Melody. So, to, to speak against Melody. Yahoo, Yahoo. No, no. Melody. So, Melody. You are sorry, going to be. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Have you, have you, have you tried to research on um, countries that rank the most? Yeah, Nigeria is not. Yeah, yeah, Nigeria is not. We're not as far as we think. I agree. Yeah. Even I'm as far like that. Yeah. Yeah. As yeah. it is, the and internet fraud is, and as common as it is I in agree. our entire society. I agree. Right? You're speaking on glorification. Glorification. The music no, the industry hip-hop has been we thriving look on rock culture and gang culture I for years. I also no, no, no. Hip hop has not thrived. Hip hop has it, it has been built <laughs> on gang culture Fine. and drug culture and drug and drug money. Oh, my niggas goodness. aspire to that shit. Even UK rap culture is built on that shit. On crime, violence, yeah. and all of that. But that's hip-hop. the thing. When we have music that is telling you dagger them, dagger this. A, a and that's why you you having a problem with that thing it's also very funny to me because you and I danced to 50 cents when he was saying when it comes out of her I'm going to light that nigga up on hit guys I'm not now you're, now you're getting it all wrong I'm not saying that we did not clap and dance to this hip hop music when we but as now that we're like we're older people I can't I can't speak on what I danced to at 12 or at 11 I don't know I hear you I'm now an adult I'm conscious I can, I, I can pay attention to lyrics I can now say okay I should, we shouldn't be talking about no, the music. This now. Shout out to AOT who also says this. Culture is violent and I culture agree. documents society. I agree. I agree. Oh, yes. So I think that we, we I can start by fixing society something. before we start talking about the music. Something. I agree. I want to also mention music something. Music is a mirror of society. I agree. But this should be I'm part of this pressing as that thing. As that thing, I'm speaking, pressing every day. Speaking about society, one thing that's missing here is timeline and its effects and changes. Yep. Right? So. I've been opportuned to witness a certain generation yep. listen to Rema's current album <laughs> as Adi bro. Adi no, 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 bro. You see, this is mad. This is mad. Hold on, hold on. Let me land. Let me land on this. Let me land on this. Let me land on this. Oh, you like I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm wait, wait. Sorry. Quincy, we need to hear this. Okay. Go, go on. Say it! Melody, you say guys. it. What's it? What's it? Who cares? What's it? Who cares? There's a video that That's must, it! There must, there's a video that, that must is it! The internet who? Of me. Three days ago. Of when did you see? I did match her. With grown men. I was the only woman there. What's it by Lara? And I'm holding me like this. I did match her, but I was drunk, sir. I did. Even if I drink, I'm always a different person. I did match her. No, they lie. No, they lie. The song hits you. 
No, but I'm like, on, yes, he did. He did. He did. He did. The Mad album is emotion evoking. Saying this to say, saying this to say, it's not one, two, three, four, five. Young guys, mm -hmm. early twenties, like very early twenties. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing one twenty, one forty, one eighty speedometer. Please, video. Use your seat belt, then please. they knock this thing. They yeah, play matcham. One, they play or zeba. What, bro? Oh, saying this to say. It is Rema's album. Bro, I give these guys 10 years later. They'll be here on the podcast. They'll be having a very lovely conversation saying, <laughs> you know, when they release Macham, it's the reality. Because they will tell you, bro, the videos are there. I, did, I can't believe this is the worst part. I can't believe that I'm telling them. I said, bro, look, you need to take it easy. Yes, Jay, because you know what you were doing at their age. At the same shit. I was. Not even... Maybe these people are even using it with their car. I did it with someone else's car without the consequence <laughs> in course. my head. Damn it. Shout out to Namdi Obaya. 140 and Nakam. So he reached now. I say what? Saying this to say timelines, right? Mm -hmm. Also differ in our current conversation. Let's, let's talk about Buju Banton. No. Ah. Solani. Let's, let's move. Let, may I start? Let's talk about Introduce it and I start. <laughs> 20 you fool. Introduce it and I start. Give me portable. I, I, my, my, uh, As far as I'm Mugara. <laughs> 20 you fool actually. What's this face about? Oh my, this, the hardest photo in Afro beats. Is that? Is that photo? No, 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 no. Um, that photo of portable wearing re, um, re, reverence outfits. Well, I haven't seen that one. Ah, you don't see that picture? No. You want me? So let's talk about Buju Banton's interview. That nigga was like, yes. he, he would, he would, uh, it's blasphemous. I was like, that picture is so hip hop, bro. Mm. It's so hip hop. Mm. Hey, he's not a rapper. Say so what you're about to say. Okay, so the, um, there was an interview that went viral a couple of days ago and it had the legend. Rasmus of us state that he is a he legend. Is a legend. A a, a, <laughs> Banton, where he was talking about music. He had an interview where he was talking about music. And he had some things to say about Afrobeat. And in his opinion, he, he, he first of all spoke about Afrobeat artists not giving credit to... Um, okay, let me... He said... They, no, you're right. Okay, so it's he said they, they, they don't give credit to the origin mm -hmm. of the... He did say that. What? He did say that. Okay, so so let me let me let me take it very So he said when you look at what they are doing, their music is not free in Africa. It's fuckery. <laughs> their music needs to free Africa. If all if I'm all the way in Jamaica and my country and my people fight to free your continent with word, sound and power, and you have the ability now and all you are singing is fuckery. You don't sing a song to free Africa now. We desire more from them. You want the money, go get it. But what's going to be said about you later on? You didn't make any impact. They said, tell me one Afrobeat song that can uplift us. Kenya is suffering. The young men of Kenya are revolting. Sudan, South Sudan, you name it. But, but which one of these songs can I relate to for peace of mind? I just want a peace of mind. To tell me that I'm in the struggle and we're going to be better in the struggle. And even though the struggle is hard, we're going to overcome. Then he also mentioned the part where... Okay, so I'm, I'm trying to find what he said verbatim as regards Afrobeat artists not paying homage to... Homage. Um, did he say to dance all artists now? Yes, yes. To dance all artists and say that like, we don't give credit to where the... No, reggae. He said is reggae. Is it reggae or dance all It's now? reggae, it's reggae. He just said we don't, you just want don't to go give first. credit. So I'll find that one. But you, you want to go first? Respond. No, no, no. As, you, as you want you to go please, first? As you please. Tori, but before I even speak, I want to hear with you, man. <laughs> He's not so, normal. So there are two perspectives to this conversation, Melody. Yes. There's the perspective of African... Afrobeats not being political enough, quote Social unquote. political. You know. Social political enough. And then there's the perspective of not paying homage, right? Mm -hmm. To reggae, mm -hmm. dance all. Now, on the part of not being social political enough, mm -hmm. I understand Sorry, he said, listen, a lot of cultural vultures out there. We have sat and we have watched reggaeton fuck with our music so hard and stolen our culture. I'm not knocking anybody, but you don't, but you don't give us no respect, motherfuckers. Um, 
you don't give us no respect motherfuckers and you still expect us to act like we take something from you this is the king's music your music shall come and it shall go because it has nothing to do with soul and building energy our music is a time marker i have, a, I have smoke for that but let me just start where i can thank you for putting for putting batteries in my back i also wanted to be, speak factually okay now about the social political conversation yes Buju Banton is how old? He's in his 50s, isn't he? He's, that means That means Buju Banton was born in the 70s. Okay. That means the era that Buju Banton grew in was in the 80s and the 90s. Mm-hmm. And that means the artist that he grew up on, the biggest Af- African or black stars in the world. He's 51 years. He's 51. So that means he was born in 1973. Or 72, at least. Mm-hmm. Or at most. So it means that Buju was born in an era where all the black people, Africa, black race was quote and unquote in a place of subjugation when he was born. Yeah. At 50? 50 yeah. years ago, place of subjugation? To a large extent, yes. A lot of black nations were still, even if they had gained independence, they had gained independence. If, even if they had gained independence, they were still highly under the influence of white Foreigners. European imperialism. Right. Um, I mean, to be still still now. But exactly. I agree. Go new imper- it's new imperialism now. Yeah. Now, like into the night, the nineties, South Africa, for example, was still highly, highly influenced by apath- apartheid. Do you understand? So I don't think, I don't think, I th- I understand. So the problem is, the concept is called juvenoia. Juvenoia is the concept of younger people, of older people trying to judge younger people by unreal realities or against their own realities of their time. Now, I'm not saying Africa or black race is currently better. What I'm saying is the reality that Fela is not judged by the reality that Techno is judged by. Do you understand? Fela did what he did so that Techno can sing about what he sang, sang about. Do you understand? So, I'm not going to hate on put your pants in for that reality but i'm going to tell him that afrobeats doesn't need to be socially aware for afrobeats to be great you understand the, the pillars of afrobeats as much as some of them are built on social political awareness is also built on the concept of enjoying your life and a genre yes. a genre must always represent what it represents or mm. should and minus that even if the genre was not built on that, you have to let the genre become what it's going to become. Mm-hmm. For example, rap music is struggle music. Hip-hop culture is struggle culture. But trap music is not exactly about the struggle. It's about enjoyment and drugs and lifestyle. Trap music, yeah. Do you understand? It's, a, it's an offshoot. It's a subgenre of rap music and yeah. hip-hop culture. So you have to let the genre become what it's going to become. You can't get keep out. Like, you can try. But the genre is going to become what it's going to become. You can, so you have two options. You can either keep crying or let the genre become what it's going to become and just let it. Because there's nothing you can do. So that's the first part of this conversation. And my problem with Buju no, 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 I before I get there, no, let, me just, let, let, me also, let me also speak on this. Afrobeats. Even this current wave, 1990 till now, has also been soaked in social political commentary. Okay. And Buju Banton sounds ignorant as fuck. You're a dumb fuck, my nigga, for that shit. Sounds ignorant as fuck. Right? That's my guy! Because it means you're not listening to enough music to have comments on the culture. The biggest artist of all right now is Brunner Boy. What is Burner Boy's music, quote and unquote, known for? Social political commentary. Oh. Right? Even techno song, Nepa, don't bring light to, Nepa, don't bring light to, that we're dancing to, is social political commentary. Is it not? Yep. I want to be like Moses, show my people them to their promised land. It's we social have political a, we commentary. Have a, a fucking subgenre called Afradura. Ah, oh, melody. <laughs> A Facts. fucking subgenre that talks about real life, real life, Afro where, depression. Like we have a subgenre dedicated to this to shit, to darkness shit. Like what are you talking about? And my mama said music. You understand? My mom is saying talking about issues that people are going through. Like we do have that. You, you've never heard of my mama said music? Shout out to Uwe Sunde. My mama said music. Yeah. Yes, now. Yes, mommy no. say. <laughs> my mommy say. Shout out to Bella Shmoda, who is the side patron. And Whiskey. Whiskey is the mama said. What? No, who's always Ooh. said it's a 
is, is, no, 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 no. You see, the melody, he was aware. He's, yeah, he you, just didn't register. He, he said the bait and you took it. <laughs> He was referring to whiskey. But I know whiskey is the mama. Whiskey mama is mama say, mama say. Somebody's mama always say. saying something. To mama me. say, right? mama say, yeah. mama cool, say. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we have an entire subgenre Afro Adura. Right? That is real and dark, like Afro depression. Oh my Lona. Have you heard Lona's album? Bro. And if you go anywhere because Brilliant. of bandits, a beautiful album. Brilliant. Beautiful album. The cover like, art, amazing. Guy, like they went to shoot that shit in Kano, in the in house, the where, house he where he grew up. The intentionality, so, the story. So, Buju Banton, you're that's fucking insane. ignorant, my bro. OG, I love you. I respect you. But maybe research about the genre more before you open your mouth and yarn dust. I also feel like Now, that, okay, the continue, other parts sorry. of the conversation Yes. is the part about... Not paying homage. Not paying homage. It sounds like jealousy to me. Ah. Oh my god. I can't love you more than this. Stop you love trying. me, I know. Stop do you trying. Understand? Melody, do you know why I'm saying this? It's because. But I understand why why Dancer is jealous of quote and quote and unquote jealous of Afrobeats. Let me tell you why. Most of the majors don't even have offices in, in the Caribbean right now. It's not a you can do your research. <laughs> You can do your research. <laughs> do you understand? They hate Afrobeats because this is what they could have been right now. But it's also the problem of them they not understanding that every genre has its run. Do you understand? Crossover, America, all of that shit. Like, you had your time. You are going to come back. Dance all reggae, to- reggae, is- reggae dance all is going to come back. And let's even be honest, it never really left. Shensia is a big artist. Spice is doing six great things on Empire. Do you understand? Like you, he never really left. But the problem is, you need to be comfortable with the fact that the headline of African music right now is Afrobeats. Deal with it. Like we need to be honest. That comes from a place of wanting to exert your influence. Your influence cannot be more exerted than it is. It's literally called Afrobeats. The concept of the beats is built around the fact that Afro, the Afro is inspired by African pop, contemporary pop music is inspired by a potpourri of sounds, including reggae dance hall. What else do you want? Now stop. I don't think that. I don't think that I need to. Uh, melody. Now, I need to ask. Melody. I know where you're going to go, but now, now let's break this down. Two truths can exist. We can say that now... Let's start from the history of Afrobeat. Mm-hmm. Afrobeat as a genre is made up of what? Different sounds. Mm-hmm. We've got contemporary it. African pop music. Co- yes. Now, when the legend of Afrobeat went in search of this great sound, you are going to piss me off, my chick. <laughs> when the legend, <laughs> when the legend of this sound mm-hmm. created this on Afrobeat, he didn't do it in isolation. He traveled to different countries, mm-hmm. learned about the sound. Afrobeat. Without yes, the S. Without the S, no, of course. Now, let's not forget that even in the conversation about Afrobeats, we still have Ghanaians who feel like they don't get enough credit for the influence. I think that's wrong, but that's my Ghanaian brothers. No my nigga in Jamaica. But do you get their own points? I do. I've, I did two facts only episodes. Exactly. So, even when we're talking about paying homage, Afrobeat as a genre, Nigerians as, as generally, there's a thing where people are already of the opinion... Quincy, please let me take this. That people, there's, there's a thing where people are already of the opinion that... Nigerians are just seen as hijackers. We go into a place, we make whatever is not ours. ours. They, are the, they have the same smoke for America. Can I be done? But I allowed you to be done. And hijack this thing. And when you're not hijack it, you make it your own. The way we're trying to do it at my piano. The way we do it well, different genres. Wait! And that's how I argue that you created it, or you made it, or you made it, blah, blah, blah. Okay, but the point is that it is okay for these people to say that you are not paying homage, or you're not, you're not, you're not telling our story... How much? Wait, you're not telling our story enough in the growth or in the conception or in the in the whatever of in the evolution. In the evolution of the story. story. No, I'm not. I'm not. Because now, please go. Whose story, guys? You know, I'm even asking a question. I'm asking you. Yeah. I'm telling you. Okay. I need you to respond to me. I need you to be done. Let me explain. I'm trying to say that. Okay. Generally, people of the opinion that Nigerians and Afrobeat artists or Nigerians generally we hijack shit and we don't give credit. 
I think that in the conversation of we don't pay homage, I, I think that maybe we can speak on these guys more. Many like, do. Oh, why to... does why, first things first in the concept of in the game of Afrobeats, Afrobeats created by the late great OG, the greatest black music that has ever a musician has ever existed in the history of time, Fela Nicola Pokuti. Yes. Reggae is a very very much much reduced part of the conversation. Yes, I agree. The genres that Highlight. played a significant part in the evolution of Afrobeats were High Life, Calypso, which is Caribbean music. Jazz. And the third part is jazz. I love you. You are a good music scholar. So reggae, it's not maybe the latter, the later parts. It's a, bit, it's a very small part. Yes. It's a blip in the conversation, yes. almost unnoticeable, yes. because the concept of reggae is based on a unique sound corp, um, um, progression, a unique BPM, a unique set of instruments and unique percussion that you cannot even trace to the concept of Afrobeats. That is fella. So if you the only way you can find it is in the concept of the guitars and the chords. And that can get very, very lost. So it's a very technical conversation that we don't need to have. Yeah. Now, the other part of the conversation is Buju Banting says, Buju Banting, have you given enough credit to slavery for the evolution of your dance hall at reggae? All of you niggas are from Africa. What the fuck are we talking about here? Uh, what are we talking about here? Tolani, do we have modern Afrobeat artists that are that their music is largely dancehall? I agree. No, largely, yes, I agree. But do you know why there's a there, there are similarities? Do, do you know why the average white person would draw inferences between dancehall and Afrobeats? Do you know why? Because of that, the UK shout out to our UK brothers because of Caribbean first generation Caribbean boys, first generation African boys met and they created a mesh of a sound called Afro swing. So Do you understand? So we are very similar. It's credit. not about you, it's not about not like that part of asking for credit is very sinister. The intention I'm questioning it. The originality of the thought I'm questioning it. The intentionality of the conversation I'm questioning it because the, the what like what you are even calling pop sound is from the Africa. And let's be honest, in this concept of Afrobeats, Juju, High Life, Afrobeats without the S, and Akpala, and all, they played bigger influences on our sound that dance all did. So what the fuck are you saying? Fair. That's a fair argument. But I, I'm still asking you again, Natalani, we, we have in modern... The Africa biggest Nigerian artist right now names you as one of his biggest influences. What do you want again? For him to come and be bowing down to you at your door. Are you fucking mad? He's not talking about him. He's talking about the Afrobeat space generally. Like when we talk about the culture, when we talk about Afrobeat. We, one of biggest whiskey's biggest influences is Buju and Vibes Cartel. Exactly. So what the hell does he want you again? You can mention that these people that are our biggest artists are influenced largely or somewhat by these people. It's okay for him to now say that generally in the Afrobeat conversation, he feels like we don't pay <laughs> homage to them enough. That's enough homage. What the hell do you want again? For me to come and be bowing down to you. Did you have you ever paid homage to the to black culture for the concept of the music you are making? Two truths can exist. Tonight. Fuck that! No. Two truths can exist. No. Your point. My point is first, Bujibanten spoke around nonsense. Um I appreciate the technicality you put to it. Man. But we also do should understand that um in the concept of music creation no particular instrument would be yours as a nation or as a region that's one then number two um there's a rise of there's currently a rise of um what caribbean music but it was never referred to as caribbean music they received all the love as jamaica <laughs> bro hold on you get where they go um what's it called it's always been Jamaican music. It was never Caribbean music. Yep. To the large effect, a lot of people didn't even know that there was a Car Caribbean. It was Caribbean. Jamaica, Jamaica, Bro, Jamaica. Even us, when they hear, when Rihanna come outside, yeah, people hear, thought she was Jamaican. Yes, now. Because when they heard Caribbean, the first thing you might Later on words. in life, we now understand there's Barbados. Abi? And Bayesian. And Asian women. And then there's this, there's that, there's that. And they all form this confluence. But saying this to say that even the concept that's accepted as Afrobeats, it's not necessarily Afrobeats. There are regions 
where it's more on my piano than our sound. Yep. And it's not a shake yeah. that's there. It's black coffee playing to 15,000 House people. music, pure house playing music. House music, playing quite old music. So where's your dancehall influences is that? There's nothing like dancehall. I listened to it, I watched it. It's giving and insecurity. Away from that, serious insecurity. Serious ones. And this is the worst part to the point of insecurity, Melody and Motolani. The I'm worst jealousy. part to insecurity is he highlighted particularly that we have not even, um, I'm going to paraphrase to say that we don't even work with them. It's like a neglect situation, right? That's not even, under that's the, even fucking under, stupid. When, when that episode came out. Did he out, say that? Yes, now he did. He did I don't know, but I can't confirm did. what he did. No, I, I, I would tell you that he did. I didn't hear that. Right? One. And I went on the barrage of messages highlighting how Damien Marley has been working Guy. by Burner Boy. Whiz. Whiskey, Burner Boy. Three, three times. times. Right? Burner Boy, Whiskey, Burner Boy. David Doe himself, Popcorn, three songs. Popcorn, bro. That's, that's their flagship artist. Popcorn, three records. Seven flagship. Yes, yes. So it's not true. Then For a time. David Doe has worked. With um, Wiz walked on Shen with Shensia on the last um, album. Fireboy walked with Shensia. What? TJ, I mean, JT, JT. I mean, the fuck up in the, in the yeah, in the, yeah. Where the plan for Nigeria with, here? He worked with, he worked with David O, right? So I genuinely feel that in the concept of working with these people, you have been neglected. Bro, don't, 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 don't even. Wow. Shensia is the, is the face of their genre globally okay. now. Yes. Wiz, she was on Wiz's last and, album. She was on Fireboy's last album. And guess what? You are still not in the conversation. It's an artist thing. It's a thing where artists are shielded from reality. I don't right? I don't necessarily think Wait, it. Wait, okay. hold on. Sorry, Melody. There's a thing where artists are shielded from actual reality. Right? So they speak from their arse. <laughs> in the words of a certain type of people. Right? And that's what he did. And then speaking to Afrobeats itself, right? Zero research, zero understanding yep. of the it's genre. Like zero this guy came on the show, made reference to him being in Nigeria, in I'm sorry, being in Africa in 1991, okay. reaching music. And, and then I wasn't sorry, even born then. You motherfucker. Educating people hold on, hold on. about the hold on. Yeah, so this is where they I to go. different countries. This is the fucked up part and the twist to this conversation. Because if you understand real African music history, you understand that we had international record labels. Yep. As at that time. But before that Before time. that time. And so we had predominant, I forget their names. We, we had, had EMI was in Nigeria, EMI. Universal was in Nigeria, right. Warner was in Nigeria, Sony was in no, Nigeria. No, no, no. Interscope the was in Nigeria. The main guys, right? We had EMI. EMI, Universal, holding down Sony, Music Warner. Most of, a lot of our, what's it called? A lot of our flagship artists. And there's another label that I forget. There's Palofon right? that, that had but some in Nigeria. This, like, I was just going off, typing, commenting on that post to say, this is Jagons. I'm saying this to say that as at the point where he well, was signed was to inter, was signed to, to Sony Music. Baba, he was trying to preach music to us. Are you fucking mad? You stupid. I think that he should have done a little when bit Bob more. Marley, your when Bob Marley already died. Talk, I'm sorry. When we actually refer to legacies in terms of music from Jamaica, we want men with the mention families that have held down genres. You are, I don't know your family. No, I know him. It's an OG. I don't know Bujubanti's family, bro. I know him. He's speaking about families, but I'm a Yeri, man. <laughs> Yeah, bro. We don't know him. <laughs> Shit. Bro. All we have, bro, all we have is the Mali family with substance. That, hey. I did, I did the equivalent of the, wait, of the Kuti family. There's Mali family, there's Kuti family. They need to make an album. With influence. No, Shewu Kuti and Demi Mali have a record. Uh, yeah, they have, they have, I mean, this idiot spitting out of his arse. Sorry, it's one of the, my reference points. This idiot spitting out of his arse, A R S E. Why do you keep right? Saying, uh, Recently, as a British Irish right? man, <laughs> this now. Talk no way. I won't use that. He seems more disrespectful Jeez. when you say that. So speaking out of his butthole, right? <laughs> 
the, um, what's his name? Shemu Kuti and Dimi Mali have a fire record yep. that was released less than three months ago. What are we discussing what here? Does he, what else does he want? It, that's why he's giving I authority Bro, and you jealousy. know the funniest part of this whole piece? There's nothing about Felanu Kulakbo Kuti as an artist that has anything to do with their fucking music Fact. that is reggae. No. Oh, we that share. Really no. Facts. Excuse me, sir. Facts. I will say this with my it's full chest. No, Come on, argue with it's me. It's a fact. Bruv, all we share are instruments that same jazz artists share, same rock band share, and same all of these people and share. Even, the even, concept of genres even, of music even the arrangement and its of the is, is not the same. So, it's not. It's not the he, same. You know he wasn't speaking on Afro beats. Then Afro he should not beats. talk about it. No, if he can't talk know, about it, you know how bitter this guy was. Do you know how bitter this guy was? Melody, melody, melody. Do you know how bitter this guy was? This guy was so bitter that at the beginning of the conversation, he wasn't actually specifically speaking to Afro beats, right? It was in between the reference to Afro beats as a word from um, what's the host name? The main host. Um, host, um, I don't, I don't know why those ones were laughing. I was like, what's going on? When he mentioned right? Afrobeats yeah. on Drink Champs, when host, he mentioned Afrobeats, that's when he picked it up. He was actually initially referring to reggae and um, what's that? What's their own Nori. one? Nori is the, is what's the host. Noriega, yes. It's Noriega that actually they said that. Afro, asked what's him the, him what's the other, their other genre um, of music? Dancehall. Dancehall. That's, that's called bashment or something. And reggaeton. Reggaeton was is referring not their to sound. all of these like, things. First is bro, 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 bro. This guy is so not bro, 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 bro. That that reggaeton part, convo. that reggaeton part is actually very it's daft. Funny. It's actually all so of fucking it daft. Is daft. It's very funny. The reggaeton no part no is fucking daft bro, because the, the the sound that you are calling reggaeton is is a potpourri of traditional Please, let me, let Latin me just mention one more thing. sound. Thank you, You don't sir. know what the fuck Thank you're you, talking sir. about. Let but me I mention one more thing. Okay Sorry, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. It's no, no. It needs to not, not come and speak with authority. It is divisive, no. Melody. They have influenced our sound. Melody, I agree. With who? No, they have. They have. Can we please not do this? Quincy, they have. They have. Melody, what's the biggest... Wait, wait, wait. What's the biggest Afrobeat song that came out in recent time? The first one that took the world by storm. That was the influenced first by... That was influenced, major one in that, recent that time. That was influenced by... by yes. Reggaeton. Come closer, Whiskey. Eh? Yeah. It's influenced by dancehall music. Cap, yeah, I disagree. Is. You know what I mean? It way, is! Wait, 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 no, no, no. It I, is. Wait, first things first. Okay, I want to counter you to say that's not the song. It was not owned by a fucking African. Come closer. Come closer was whiskey featuring Drake, right? Yeah, no, 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 no yeah, it's, whiskey not, it's, not, it's not, it's not, it's not whiskey featuring Drake. Um, whiskey, whiskey featuring Drake. Whiskey, One no, dance no. is Drake featuring Oga, whiskey. Oga, no, come is, closer. Um, come closer. Brown skin girl. What's that song? What's that song? Brown skin girl is not Beyonce. Beyonce. What's the other one? Whiskey yeah. and Thames. Essence. Essence. It's a bigger African mm. record. Yeah, it, it is, is, but it's, there's, there's no, there's no dance on the That's my point. My point he is, that the biggest I'm trying to song tell you that the biggest Afrobeat song, song is not influenced by that them. introduced us, us to the West down, down to every influence of promoting Afrobeat sound, right? Chris Brown being the larger part, which we should discuss at some point. I think that guy needs Chris Brown being the larger part Afrobeat. of this whole P, right? None of it had anything to do with this idiot. It had more to do with South Africa. This idiot. Bro, this guy, the young absolute dust. Okbata. Better or Okbatos. Oh, we're done. Quincy wants to fight. Yeah, you want, you want to I, I, yes, I, I absolutely want to. I just generally feel like, I, I think that the conversation about paying homage, we can listen to them. Because first and foremost, this is an No, OG. Melody, it's where it's coming from. I and the way it's, the way it's talk. Melody, so, You so, only so, pay Melody, homage to Ted. someone who has paved the way for you. Bro, bro. He did not pave the way Quincy, for shit. Quincy, Quincy, Quincy. My problem with him is, I'm, a, I'm an empath. I can see energy when I see energy. You understand? And that energy was fucking sinister as fuck. Don't bring the sad don't energy, bro. I, I can't explain it. You did not pave the way for shit. I can't will speak on the history of Afrobeat music internationally, globally, all of these no, things, no, no. and I will not they, reference you in any light. No. And generally no. and speaking, fact, I will generally. reference him. I will not. As an artist, As we round I will respect what? his craft. I will respect his craft. Thank you guys so much for this conversation. Generally speaking, what I'm just going to say is that OGs, 
Oh, did you need to respect yourself? I'm not making one more quick here, my boy. You. No, can no I you? I generally think that legends should carry themselves as legends. If you've put in so much effort into building your craft to a certain level, don't engage in certain conversations. And when you engage in conversations, do you understand? And engage with knowledge. And also, as an OG, your energy should be more in bringing people together, not all these separations. I feel like Africans, we put so much energy into what this one, what that. See what South African and Nigerian people are doing, only to now crown a light skinned. I don't understand like what I'm yeah, understand. No, like, we, I, I, I wish we mentioned that. I want to say like <laughs> Africans need to get our we need to get our shit together. This thing that you're doing, it cannot favor, it can only favor the white man. So please stop all this conversation. Don't say Afro beats is not great. Afro how can it grow when every day fight, 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 legend this, legend that. Would you bounce in? Like, Go and ask for a future. We'll give you free. Like let's let legends carry them as give legends. It to you. And ask who is they are fans of your music. Also, they'll give it to you. OGs, be be okay with not being in the conversation. It's okay for people not talking about I like you. That. Stop fighting. Fighting for relevance. Stop fighting to be in. To and be stop, on, stop leading with hate. As black people, like leave it. Let the new ones be. Yeah. Stop, stop leading with hate. This is to be. It's, it's you okay can't to not be on this blog. Leave it alone. And we are. Uh uh-uh. This episode uh-uh. was brought to you by who? <laughs> this episode was brought to you by Shivers. Cast this episode. It drops live on Monday across all your favorite streaming platforms: Spotify. Apple, Boomplay, Audio Mac, and YouTube by 8 a.m. YouTube, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel at Zero Conditions Pod. Send us email, oh. and also send us email at Zero Conditions Pod, pod at gmail.com, and also follow us on Instagram and on Twitter at Zero Conditions Pod. And also, I do not not read your comments. Please continue to leave your comment on YouTube. We absolutely love the feedback. I see everything that you're writing. I promise you, I read every one of them. So we see your comments, we see your feedback, and the guy that asked for shivers. One guy commented last episode that he wanted. When we are doing giveaways, giveaway, just stay tuned. We're going to give maybe next week or so. I don't know, yeah, but we'll let you know. But yeah, thank you guys so much for working with us. Give away two bottles of shivers XV. Later. Okay, we absolutely love you. Bye bye. Follow Quincy Jones. For Lucius, snap a picture with your XV. Oh, about him, Peter, Peace out, baby. Quincy Jones. Banton is an idiot for what he did. He did not allow me to say it. He's an idiot. All right, cool. Bye bye. <laughs>